Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and uh, let us share the link with everybody we know uh, look like we don't have many people yet here uh, maybe uh, maybe we should do less videos because uh, maybe you are tired um, almost time he posted this in my Facebook actually I was going to talk about Allah as the smart Allah and the smart Muhammad but I find that this is a smart too and for sure I'm being sarcastic here uh, this is what this uh, gentleman the Muhammad and his name is Junaid al-Baghdadi he said top 10 reasons why Jesus is not God and this is not what he said Muslims are copy and pasting you know this is Muslims never even read anything they copy paste uh, this is a program made many years in the Dean show and I called the Dean show many time and the coward they will never let me go through top 10 reasons why Jesus is not God and the funny they are 10 I mean I was so disappointed they are not a 12 too bad but anyway God had no beginning but Jesus was born hmm. he really noticed uh, the, the the Islamic silly mentality because God has no beginning and who said to you that Christ has a beginning his birth have nothing to do with his beginning Jesus says before Abraham I am so it's a very silly stupid understanding and stupid logic obviously you do not know anything about Christianity and as long you are the one who said God has no beginning and as long we have verses saying clearly that Jesus is, exists before Abraham then you need to explain to us what happened exactly how Jesus and you just said I'm using your logic Abdul you see I'm using your logic not my logic now, please just uh, think carefully about what we are talking about Jesus says to the Jews that Abraham he saw my day Abraham he saw my day they said to him hmm, what what do you mean how Abraham saw your day and he rejoiced for your day which means he saw him he met him the Jews said to him, you are not yet 50 years old and exist, which mean, you know, like you're, you know, Abraham, you seen Abraham? Yeshua, not the stupid Isa name in the Quran, which mean your prophet even do not know how to pronounce correctly any name. I mean, where is this Isa is coming from? How silly. Yeshua said to them, timeless truth, I speak to you before Abraham. I would exist I am the living God so the Abdul saying to us well if Jesus he is a God <laughs> God <laughs> Jesus was born and you know the Christian even they celebrated Christmas so how Jesus was just uh, began to exist and here you see the answer for your city question even in your city Quran it says that Jesus is the Word of God which sent down to Mary so Jesus in your stupid Quran claim that Jesus was and again I'm saying your Quran not my book now talking about your Quran in your Quran that Jesus was in heaven and he was sent was sent down to Mary he was sent down as what you just said God have no beginning do the word of God have a beginning no Muslim dare to say yes because all Muslims agree that the Word of God is not created all Muslims and actually the second you say that the Word of God is created it's the same second you became an apostate this is your funny Quran saying it clearly that Jesus the Messiah is the Word of God and here you notice by the way the Muslim translation acts as an example in this translation this translation of who Khalil Khan 
the Muslims always they lie when they translate never never trust a Muslim translation change the translator even though the translator the other translator is a Muslim you will find that right away it's a different story look what they added here he is a spirit created by him okay what is in the Quran it says created by him who want to show it to me where in the Quran in the Arabic it says created by him that because they are liars ya ahl al kitab لا تغلوا في دونكم ولا تقولوا على الله إلى الحق إنما المسيح عيسى بن مريم رسول الله وكلمته ألقاها إلى مريم وروح منه liars nowhere it says created by him cowards they corrupt their book they are corrupting the corrupt book after all the corruption happened to the Quran which is a corrupt you cannot corrupt it more than the corrupt Muhammad and now they are corrupting the translation we change the translation and look how amazingly right away and we are going to use a Muslim translation we're not going to use different translation I mean not a Christian translation look the word created by him is gone and instead of a created by him it says read carefully that he is a messenger of Allah and his word which bestowed on Mary and the spirit proceeding from him not a created by him you liar proceeding ing so look what we learned here that the messiah before became a man he was the word of god this is exactly what the book of john says in the beginning it was the word and the word was with god and the word is it was the god and then in verse number 14 it says and the word became a flesh so you foolish you are saying to us how that can be when your Quran is saying to you, yes, Jesus was the word of God and he is from heaven. He is not from earth. If we go and search in a prophet Google, you will find that all Muslims agree that the word of Allah is not created. Well, I'm typing out of a call on. I'm going to show you in English. Read carefully the madness of the cult of Islam. The Quran is the word of Allah, and it is not created. Here you will see that Islam became Islam is split to many Islam in in the second you say that and This is showing us how Islam is a very confusing stupid cult If the Quran is not a created That's mean we have any created Allah versus any created Quran If the Quran is not created, that's mean the Quran have no beginning, have no end. <laughs> the guy he said to us in his statement that how Jesus can have a beginning, how God has no beginning, the Quran has no beginning, and is not created. So now we have two gods in Islam. We have Allah and we have the Quran. And as long as the Quran is not created, that's mean all the word of God is not created. And I'm talking about the God here. When I'm saying I'm saying Allah supposedly. Remember, I'm talking to you, Muhammadan. So do you notice here how silly this cult is? They do not know their own yellow pages book, and yet they attack our book. Yet even your God, Allah, did not know even what the Trinity is. He think that Mary is the Trinity. The more we see Muslims posting, the more we love. Now, look at this disaster. The word of Allah is not created. The answer, this is the scholar answering. The Quran is the word of Allah. Maybe he exalted and it is not created. Okay, so where is coming from? from Allah is it a created no <laughs> unbelievable 
you know, here, as long as the Quran is not created, that means the Quran must be an individual divine. Are we listening, Abdul? As long as the Quran is not created, that means the Quran is a divine by himself or itself. So you Muslim, you say we don't believe in the Trinity, but now you have a twin. You have a twin God. Hmm? You have twin God. How do you explain that to us? What's happening? Any Muhammadan? So when a Muslim he make an opposition to Christianity is not because a Christianity is not convincing for him It's just because Muhammad says so and we have to come with all the excuse As long you are saying that how God can have a beginning Well, we are going to prove to you that Allah has a beginning Allah has a beginning and has an end Because he is a you know a, a physique dimension if we go in the Sahih Hadith, we will find that Allah, He is a, I don't know what they call Him, maybe He is a, I don't know what His shape is, but look, read with me carefully. Allah has a shape, and He will come to you in the nearest pictures you know in your mind by the way this is false translation as long Allah has a shape so how you say to Allah he has no beginning you see the birth of Jesus is the existence of the shape not the existence of God that shape that flesh when you say and you agree that Allah he has a shape that's mean he has a beginning for that shape. Your God, the God of Islam, is not a spirit. If we search again in a prophet Google, and always, as you see, we use Islamic reference. Allah is not a spirit. Allah is not a spirit. A Muhammadan debating somebody, maybe it's me, he said, he is debating with a Christian and asking, does God have a spirit? Talking about who? About Allah. The answer, no. The answer, no. Allah has no spirit the spirit or a soul is one of the attribute of Allah rather is not sorry not one of the attribute of Allah rather it is one of the thing that have been created by Allah <laughs> so look what we have now we have a shape it's confirmed that Allah he has a shape but the shape has no spirit inside it. Allah will come to the Muhammadan in a shape. Let us see. This is the shape. We don't know how the shape will be. Okay. I'm just imagining. So I don't know really. And this is the shape of Allah. Allah is big and it's so, it's so beautiful too. Okay. And he have one leg and he have two hands in the right side as the hadith says. Because both Allah hands are right so Allah the shape he has no spirit and what spirit mean spirit mean the power of life so if Allah is a shape he's a physical being if you remember my debate with dr. Baikli he said yes Allah is a physical being but uh, do you think you're all the same as Allah I don't care if I am the same as Allah or not I am better than Allah 
because I have a spirit he is just a physical being physical mean it can be a table it can be a, a, a rock it can be a, a piece of wood before you know it's a physical being so your God has no spirit so what it is an idol maybe the black stone is that why he said Muhammad that the black stone is the right hand of Allah is that why he said that the black stone in the judgment day is going to have eyes and tongue it's a stone has no spirit so here you notice that the Muslims they are ignorant about their cult and they come to us with silly accusation against Jesus saying this is the reason he cannot be God but they cannot explain to us Jesus is not God okay we got that Jesus is a prophet we got that but why only Jesus is the Word of God why only Jesus is alive and then now why only Jesus is born but he have no father why Jesus is in the heaven why everybody is dead why Jesus is coming back why Jesus the only one in the Quran mission he can create from the mud the bird why only Jesus can make the blind see why only Jesus can make the one who cannot walk walk why only Jesus can tell you what you hide in your houses why only Jesus is called holy in the Quran why only Jesus shaitan cannot touch him which means Muhammad was touched by shaitan so Jesus is just a person he's no one and not only that they say that Muhammad who is a criminal is the best of mankind I mean name for me a crime and Muhammad was not accused by his followers not us even his followers they accuse him of a stain underwear have you ever heard of a prophet of God being you know accused by his followers the thieves are fighting over the theft So if we go back a little bit and see this um, this Muhammadan is speaking about Jesus you will see how silly but my by the, by the way those questions can be very important for someone is he's dumb he do not know much about the cult of Islam and about Christianity and there's many Christians they are Christians by name and there's many Muslims are Muslims by name they have no idea what Islam they have no idea what Christianity and then he says Jesus never said worship me okay so if I say now worship me that will make me God that is a very silly stupid statement no Jesus he said and people worship him and we can show you tons of verses in the Bible and he did not say to them don't worship me same time he would go that's just, just the verses I was quoting for you a second ago Jesus said many times, I am the living God I am who the living God Jesus said I am the truth Jesus said the one who saw me he saw the father how you can see Jesus by seeing him you see the father you see God for Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God but as you see your God is a visible shape but he will show his shape later not now he will play with us hide and seek and by the way Allah not only he have a shape he have many shape let me show you try not to laugh Allah is like a snake who change his shape Have you ever heard of such a thing before? Read carefully. And remember, this is Sahih al Bukhari. Don't tell me that the game of weak and strong and if, uh, potato, uh, vitamin A and D, anything the Muslim they don't like, they, they say it is weak. And by the way, weak is accepted. This is why it give, it's given a rank. Weak is a rank, it's not rejected. This is why it's, it, it says weak. Weak, which means we cannot reject it, we can't throw it in the garbage. But we don't have enough uh, reporters or to sponsor it the same as other many 
but it doesn't mean it is not right but however this is a very fat hadith big heavy 400 pound and maybe even bigger especially the shape of Allah is involved in it so you can imagine how heavy it is to the point even the Quran says and the interpretation says that when the angels of Allah or uh, the eight wheels of Allah they wanted uh, the eight uh, the eight goats mountain goats they wanted to carry Allah they could not carry him because he's so heavy very heavy now read with me Allah will come to them in a shape other than the shape they knew do you see it okay in his statement this Muhammad and by the way this is not his statement again he is copying and pasting as the rest of the Muhammadan he said that God is invisible God is invisible So how God, your God, is visible and he have a shape and he will come to you in a shape other than the one which you know. And what we, we, what we have now, we have two Allah in two shape. Shape number one, shape number two. What happened to shape number one when Allah, he got shape number two? Did he shoot it? Did he burn it? Did he shred it? Did he put it in the recycle machine? Because if Allah will come in a shape other than the one which they know, and I don't know what the shape you know, can you tell me please? Or Muhammad is just making a stupid statement here. What is the shape you know? Octopus? What is the shape of Allah? Who is a Muslim he knew the shape of Allah? What Muhammad is talking about? And now Allah is coming in a shape other than the one which means you Muslims you know and look what will happen the second Allah will come to you with the new shape you will kick the ass of Allah and you will say to him get lost you are not our God am I saying that no your prophet read with me he will say after he come to you with the shape which you don't like obviously Maybe because it's too fat. I don't know. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and will say, I am your Lord. Huh? I am what? Your Lord. Okay, what you Muslims will say? You, you, you Muslims, not me, Muhammadan. You will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. So now we have to Allah. We have Allah, the one you accept, and we have Allah, the one you reject. And why this Allah is rejected to the point you think he is Satan because here we go you are saying we seek refuge with Allah from you the Quran says to you when shaitan he whisper into you seek refuge by Allah so you hear not only saying that we refuse you you are saying you are Satan and all of this why because he changed his shape which mean you Muslims you don't follow God, you follow a shape. If you have baby chickens and they are just came from the egg, anything move around them, even if it's a cat, they follow it. They think this is their mommy. Are you doing the same? So you are used to a shape around you, and if the shape change, uh, you refuse. So Allah now, after you kick his bum and you say to him, Hey Allah, you are not our God, you are just a shaitan. And we spit on you. We seek refuge from you. You are insulting Allah. Then look what Allah will do. Allah will go to his bedroom. Or maybe he will go to Thailand. And he will make a surgery. He will change his shape. Read carefully. It's not me who is saying that. You will say to him, we will not follow you. You are evil. You are the shaitan. A'uzu billah. And then... When he come, when our Lord come to us, we will recognize him. Okay. So now we did not recognize you, so you are not Allah. And then Allah will come to them in 
a shape they knew or they know and they will say he will say I am your Lord sound like the Lord of the ring they will say no doubt for sure you are our Lord absolutely but this is the same Allah five minutes ago he came to you and you kick his bum so you Muslims you are following a very silly stupid cult why even Allah is doing this what is the point to bring insult to himself and how God can change his shape you Muslim you say you keep saying to him, how can how God can you know I say to you oh, God is Almighty he can do whatever he wish are you going to say the same now he can do whatever he wish but why he wish that why he changed his shape so if God come to you in the shape of Jesus you will say to him as we see here you are Satan we reject you and the proof in the front of your eyes you don't like the shape of Jesus so you rejected Jesus but since God since when God is about a shape Jesus says from their fruits you shall know them and we know Christ not from his shape but from his fruits your God have no fruits except evil actually even the evil is not his fruit even the evil is not his fruit it's it's the fruit of Muhammad Allah is not exist there's there's nothing is called Allah when when the Arab and people around Muhammad they keep saying to Muhammad okay bring us a sign give us a sign just one sign what Muhammad he said hmm? <laughs> they are asking about a sign he told them Allah he told me wait and we will be waiting what 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 huh <laughs> what do you mean huh wait and we will be waiting waiting for what when the sign is going to come any Muslim can tell us people asking Muhammad okay where 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 is the you know I mean look at this what about Muhammad saying to us that our Allah saying to us that he's he have a strike he will not do miracles chapter 17 verse number 59 okay what does that mean we never refrain and we refrain from sending the signs only because men of a former generation treated them as false what a false excuse because the Christians believe in all the miracles of Jesus and the previous prophets so what do you mean and now people they don't believe just to show you the hypocrisy this Muhammadan copy paste article he said that there is many people that not believe in Jesus during his time that he's a God or his God well there's many people do not believe in Muhammad God in the same time in the time of Muhammad <laughs> and not only that until now I don't believe that Allah is God so what does that mean but yet there's many people believe very silly and you are a prophet he confirmed that the Christian says that Jesus is Allah which is a stupid by the way to say because we don't believe that Jesus is Allah who is Allah so if we go back here you need to ask yourself why Jesus in his time did not say okay asking me for miracles um, I refrain my, my uh, God told me I refrain from sending you miracles if Jesus is a prophet of Allah and Moses is a prophet of Allah and 128,000 prophet was sent by Allah this is what the Muslim they say 124,000 why all of them they have miracles and in the time of Muhammad that's it Allah he have refrained he did join the yellow vest in a France strike he will not go to work please Allah please Allah give us a sign I refrain 
because it doesn't matter. I do sign for you or I don't do sign for you, you will not believe me. If we ask Zechariah, brother, why Allah he refrained from giving miracles? What Zechariah will say? That's very easy to explain. And I know the question. It's coming from a guy named Christian Brent. Put yourself in the truth of Allah. And people, you keep giving them miracle after miracle after miracle, and you don't believe. And now you are asking for more miracle. That's it. I'm done with you. To Allah, he refrain, brother. What the heck? Allah, he refrain. And the funny, which make it more stupid, the Muslims, they say that the Quran itself is a miracle. Don't they? So how you say to us, I am not going to do a miracle, but by speaking, you just did. Because the Quran is a miracle, supposedly. Do you notice the stupid statement? Guys, do you, do you understand what I'm saying? If the Quran, if making Quran is a miracle, so how Allah, he says, we refrain from sending miracle by saying those three words, you just made a miracle because nobody can say we refrain from making miracle. <laughs> can you make Quran like this, brother? Can you make a Quran like this? Uh, I can make something close. Uh, I refrain from making falafel. Does it work? work? No. Okay. Uh, I will say I refrain from uh, taking shower. I know. Okay, I will refrain from sending signs. I mean, the proof that Allah is God, that he will not do miracles. This is the proof he's God. Have you ever heard of madness like this? Allah trying to convince those who don't believe in Muhammad that he is God. And how he convinced them by saying, I'm not going to do miracles. <laughs> so when the Muslims they argue about the ten reasons that Jesus cannot be God, all those reasons proving that Jesus is God. Because Jesus, He is He, he said, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the beginning, I am the end, which means everything begin by Him. Even the Bible confirmed everything was created by Him and for Him. Show me, silence me, where Jesus says I am God, worship me. Isn't it Jesus says, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will? What the Muslim don't want to understand, that God, he humbled himself, he came in the person of a man. Yet, the Messiah, the Word of God, never commits sin. He took the nature of a man. He came to us in a person of a man, but still he is holy. And even your Quran, he confirmed that. If we go to chapter 19, verse number 19 in the yellow pages of Allah, we will find the following. Supposedly, this is the Messiah speaking. Speaking about himself. He said. Sorry, the, the, the angel is speaking about, about the Messiah. The Messiah speak later. The angel, according to Muslims, they say this is an angel. By the way, nowhere in the Quran it says that this is an angel. Because here the word is used is spirit. And that is spirit appear it is the spirit of Allah here in the translation it says we sent her our angel big fat lie in Arabic it says the word ruhana mean our our spirit our spirit and that spirit appear in a perfect man look a perfect man 
and here we need to ask a question if the Spirit of Allah here in this case we told you that Allah has no spirit remember right if the spirit here is an angel as the Muslim they try to come with the conclusion it's a conclusion it's not never written in the Quran that this spirit is an angel sent to Mary as long the angel is a spirit yet the angel he can come as a man why God cannot do what angel can do are you Muslims claiming that angel is more powerful than God and what angel can do God cannot If there is any Muslim would like to give us a call. An angel, he can transform himself into a man. Allah cannot. Not only that. Where in the Quran it says that Allah is not a man. You see, I will go with you. You Muslim, you say, where Jesus says this, where Jesus says that. Okay, show me where the Quran says Allah is not a man. You are saying to me that Allah, he says nothing like him. This is a statement taken from the Old Testament. That's number one. Number two, nothing like me too. Trust me, and nothing like you. Every one of us, even if we are born, if, even if you have a twin, even your twin is different from you. Even according to science, the flickers of snow, not a single one of it, even if there are trillions of them, not a single one flicker of, of, of snow is the same as the other one. Does that mean snow is God? Water is God? Where in the Quran, Allah, he says, I am not man. Actually, I'm going to show you that Allah, he said, I am a man. And I like to have sex with women. But later, shall we? If we go in the Quran, you will say the following. Can you change the translator of that verse? What verse? You change it. I mean, what a difference. I don't agree with any translation, by the way. Uh... I would change it only if you are a Muslim, Mr. Roni. Are you a Muslim? The guy who asked me to change the translation, are you a Muslim? Roni? Are you a Muslim? Because if there is a Muslim want to talk to me, want to prove me something, so why I want to change? I mean, why are you waste my time? I thought you are a Muslim. All right. Look what the Quran said. In chapter 22, verse number 17, Allah is talking. Remember, Allah is talking, not Muhammad. He said, and just to change the translation, because, okay, maybe some people, they say, okay, maybe he like Yusuf Ali. As I said, I agree with none of the Islamic translation. I use them to get Islam busted. Otherwise, all of them, they lie. Always put that in your mind. You will never find an honest translator or translation. Read carefully. Had we intended to take a pastime, by the way, it doesn't say pastime. The word lahu in Arabic means fun today. But in the old days, they call women, they call them lahu for supposedly you know Islam does not respect women they are just sex toys according to Allah so here he used the word lahu he did not use the word wife he did not use the word uh, he used the word lahu which means women for fun for sex specifically and this is why between the two bracket the guy he said to you ie a wife or a son because simply he would have sex and they would have a son we could surely have taken it from us okay hold on Allah is one God and there's no other Allah 
but now Allah he want to have sex with the women and he called that women who he will sleep with from ourself from us any Muslim have an answer for this don't tell me Allah here he say us he mean himself because that will make it that Allah will have sex with himself Allah will marry himself so don't play this game like Allah he says us it's like um, his majesty you're yeah, right well his majesty now is speaking about having a woman in the bed are you saying to me that Allah is a double gender is male and female like some fish that is a fishy interpretation any Muslim have an idea and by the way if there is any Muslim he have the courage to call me right now please Christian Prince he is welcoming you all the Muslim cleric they don't even dare to say hello to me where are they where are they who want to explain to us how Allah will marry Allah there's only one Allah right okay Allah saying he will have sex with us the Muslim they will say but he don't want I don't care if he want or not maybe later this is this is all the news by the way this is 1400 years ago maybe Allah after that he ate some uh, different food and he changed he want to have sex now do we have any Muhammadan don't forget to subscribe if you are new and don't forget to unsubscribe if you are old this is how you get the blessing of Allah because Allah he taught a very great wisdom that the good deeds can erase all the previous deeds what a stupid cult so if you want to erase your bad deeds subscribe to me this is a bad deed and then tomorrow and subscribe or you can unsubscribe right away because by doing this good deed Allah will erase all the previous deeds for the previous year unbelievable what a stupid cult And by the way, if you don't believe me, I can show you the reference. Don't play games with me. You know, don't play games with me. You can't. Any Muhammadan? And after I finish broadcasting, you will see the Muslims posting underneath saying Christian Prince is a stupid, he's a liar, he's a blah blah blah. When Christian Prince keeps saying who wanna call me, we hear none. Christian Prince, he go, they come. Who is a Muslim wanna call me? May they, may they. If you are a Muslim and you have answers, give me your Skype and I will call you immediately. Anyone? I am a liar. Okay, Jerome, why I'm lying? Where, where is my lie? Can you point your finger at lie? No, not here, not in. Point my your finger at my lie, not at my nose. Age or M, where is my lie? All what you Muslims you do, you say you are a liar, you are a liar, you are a liar, but you cannot prove me lying. I'm showing you in the screen. Okay, hold on. Guys, what if we go and see the interpretation of the verse? Shall we? Can we do that? Let us read together the interpretation. Muslims, because the Quran is so clear, they have thousands and millions of interpretation. And after all the interpretation, still nobody understands the Quran. Praise be to Allah. Because Islam is a confusion cult. 
So let us go to the interpretation. A brother, in the interpretation, we find this. And you tell me if I am lying or not. Can we? All right. I will put it for you in the screen. And you tell me who is lying. And those are my books, by the way. You can read my books. And you will leave Islam immediately. If you can resist, let me know. This is Tafsir al Jalalain, and this is the official government of the government of Jordan website. Actually, this website is owned by the king of Jordan himself. Hmm? You can read underneath it says Tafsir al Jalalain, translation by Firas Hamza, 2017, Royal of Ahlul Bayt Institute of Islamic Thought, Amman, Jordan. The royal family, they are royal now. The king of Jordan, he became royal. The British, they brought him, they make him royal. This is what the British did in the Middle East. They brought a bunch of trashy, corrupt people from the middle of, of, uh, of, of Arabia, and they made them kings and princes. This is what England did in the Middle East. And now they believe themselves, they are royal. You know, The royal Saudi, the royal Qatari, the royal Kuwaiti, the royal Bahraini, and not long time ago, they don't even know what a shower is. And now they became royal and princes, and they have rose rice. But anyway, not our topic. Had we desire to find some diversion, that which provides diversion in the way of a partner or a child, we would have found it with ourselves. From among the beautiful eyed Huris, or angels are you there what is the guy who was saying to me you are a liar Allah is going to sleep with ourself you Muslim you keep saying to us when Allah he says ourself that's the statement of his majesty like he because he's a great like Kings when they speak Allah is copying the King of Jordan so he's we 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 but Allah here is talking about having sex if Allah is not a man, how he says, if we want to take, we will take a woman as a partner. How God can partner with the women? Actually, this is perfect to show you something this Abdul, he said in his statement there, copy paste. If we go in his statement, he said, well, God, he gave his God. So he gave a baby like dogs. They give, they give babies to dogs. Uh, read, I'm, I'm just using your logic, Abdul. Hmm? I mean, your logic is horrible, and you are getting Allah busted with no mercy. Let me highlight for you. Hey, I had a son who is a goldfish, or I have a son who is me. Ha I had myself, or I made myself. So it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and he's saying to you so God he gave a God as a baby God I'm going with your logic okay when Allah he called women ourself that's mean the likeness of Allah are women who they are in heaven and now Allah, he is saying he want to marry a woman. So the son which Allah will have from having sex with that woman is going to be a goldfish or a baby human or baby Allah. Any Abdul? Any Muslim have an answer? You see, I'm using your reference. I'm not. This is your logic. This is your challenge. Saying what? Uh, God, He will have a son, baby God. Okay. Well, Allah, if He have sex with this woman in the heaven, she is a woman. I mean, how can God have sex with the women? And in order for Allah to have sex, that's mean with the women. She that's mean He have a male penis. Excuse my language. Correct, guys. 
if Allah has a desire and now he's saying he don't have a desire but who care if you have a desire or not that means it's possible it's possible for what if you want to have a woman to have a child from her you want to take a partner and the partner is what is it from the among the beautiful eyed huris but the the, the huris are human How Allah is going to partner with a human female in the bed? I will uh, give some options. What they call this thing in the hospital? They put like something in needle in your in your arm, and there is a tube with liquid. What they call it? Serum, serum. I don't know. So maybe Allah will have sex with her in such a, such a way, like he sleep next to her, and they put a tube in his arm. How Allah is going to have sex with the huri? She's a woman. He's what? If Allah is not a man, Allah is going to have sex with her in, in which way? He will use his nose, his fingers, because the hadith says Allah has five fingers. Maybe his fingers, one of them is like, a <clears throat> you know what I mean? How Allah will have sex with this woman? Any Muhammadan? And look at them, they are so quiet. You think you're only baby God? A God he gave son baby God a God now he will have what he will have sex with the huris and he, what he will have baby rabbit what Allah will have baby camel baby uh, Allah this is why they avoid to speak to me Sharon, you want to call me? Why? Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? We take only Muslim calls, please. <clears throat> Any Muslim want to say something? Uh, any Mohammedan have something to say? Who want to answer us about Allah want to have sex with the female? And why Allah is saying, if you want to have a son, he need a female. <clears throat> Anyone have an answer? Actually, in the Quran, Allah He said, How Allah can have a son if He don't have a girlfriend? So Allah, or Aka Muhammad, confirmed that the God of the Muhammadan, He cannot be God, for He is limited with the ability. Of having a children the same as we are I cannot have a son unless I have a partner regardless if it's a female wife or a girlfriend but Muhammad he made it clear and the Quran made it clear how he can have a son do you see it guys it's not me who's saying that this is Quran how can he have a son when he has no wife okay nice to meet you I'm really really I understand your logic question how Mary in the Quran she have no boyfriend that yet she have a son I mean do you see how stupid the logic if you are saying it is impossible 
to have a son without having a boyfriend or a girlfriend then it should be impossible for Mary to have a son any Mohammedan this is a stupid logic anyone this is not only stupid logic that's proven to us that the God of Islam cannot be Almighty God Almighty God do not need the girlfriend to have a son he do not need anyone he can you know even the Quran says if Allah wants something to be he say be and by the way <laughs> that is different stupid story who is a Muslim can show me where Allah he said be and it was He challenged me, but he don't want to give me his Skype. So challenge me what? You want to change me from being in the bushes? What's your uh, what is your Skype, Mark? I will call you. Give me your you give me your Skype. Let us see how good you are. I like uh, I like uh, uh, Muslims who they are very strong and they ate a lot of uh, halib and uh, shish kebab before they call me. <clears throat> I hope you are ready. Can you give us your Skype, Mr. Mark? Or you are challenging me just to challenge and to show your girlfriend that you are a hero like Allah. Hmm? Because always Muslim they challenge me, but they don't do it. Any Muslim? Is the girlfriend or wife in Arabic? It's a girlfriend in Arabic. It says Sahiba. Sahiba. You can ask anyone who speaks Arabic. Don't tell him what the topic. Tell him what is the word Sahiba. He will say to you, girlfriend. This is the word Sahiba. Never mention wife. Any Mohammedan? You guys ask me why Christian friends don't have kids because I don't have sahiba <laughs> Me and Allah we are the same. We have the same problem Allah is trying to find a girl Christian Prince. He cannot find a girl because Allah I don't understand why Allah he cannot find because Allah is so handsome He's very good looking Ask any Muslim you say Allah is so beautiful, but they never saw him. How do you know? Hmm? I understand my situation why women they don't want to marry me I mean I don't blame them I mean look at this you don't see what you are seeing thank God I don't even see my face now I would be scared anyone still want to tell us what's happening here so you see right away how silly the logic of the Muhammadan and this is why we made a video a few days ago a Muslim he called me he says don't use our logic which means he's saying our logic is stupid. Don't use it. Any Muslim have something to say? Nobody? Auction? Sold? Should we say sold? Allah is sold? What? So when the Muslims they speak about logic and here by the way Have you ever heard of Muslim making fun of Christians believing that Jesus was born of a virgin never? Never But is that logical? In fact, it's not There's no logic of this as a Muslim for me as a Christian I find the logic for it because Jesus is a son of no man That's why we believe he is son of God who is the one who is my father? 
the answer is very simple scientific answer forget about husband and etc the man who step with my mother and make her have me that is my father is that correct guys the man who step with your mother is your father Sleep with her and make her have you regardless he is your father or from whatever relationship okay according to Islam who is the one who made Mary have a son any Muslim can answer I'm using your I mean using your logic who is the one who made Mary have a son the Muslim they say Allah so who is the father of Jesus <laughs> unbelievable this is a very smart cult super smart cult Here's a Skype. Okay, hold on. The guy he posted his uh, Skype. Let me call him. Hold on. I need to open my Skype. Give me a second, please. We welcome any Muslim to call us, by the way. All right. <coughs> and don't worry, we will be nice to you. I'm a very nice person. Actually, I got Nobel Prize for being nice. And I can prove it to you. Like in the other day, there was a, a, a friend of mine. He had a banana in front of him. And I was so nice to the point I ate, I ate only half of his banana and half of his sandwich without getting his attention. That was very nice. Okay, let us find your name. I cannot find your name. Okay, I have three names here. Which one is you? There's a guy with the picture of me, a uh, female, and there is a guy, life, and so so focus what is which one is you uh, mahambu muhambalit fit seven 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 which one is you my friend uh, the guy who called himself mark which one is you Are you there? No, but in this, you know, in the thing, you see, all of them they have the same name. All of them, Mark, Mark Hamble, the same. There's the three names, actually more than three. Oh man, I, I click at oh, more, I get like five hundred. Look at this. All of those are Mark Hamble. So which one is you? I mean, look at this. They're endless. Up and down, up and down. I mean, which one is you? So how I you know which one to add now? Maybe you can find your ID. Give me the ID exactly, not a name. You see, everyone have an ID. Muhammad Abdul Rahman. None of them, it says... Okay, change your name to uh, to Arabic so I will know which one. Why your name is Muhammad Abdul Rahman? Why you call yourself? I don't see you. There is nowhere I see Muhammad Abdul Rahman. You need to give me your ID, the ID, what it says, not not the name you give yourself as a name. There's an ID. Like, let me show you what I mean. See those names here. All right, those are ID. Like this guy here, life, Mark Hamble, life, Mark Hamble one, and there's school one, Mark, etc. You see, this is your ID. This is your ID. So what's your ID? So we can find you. I'm not going to spend the day asking you which one is your ID. Come on. Allah is waiting for me. Oh, you don't see the screen? Hold on, hold on. You guys don't see the screen? Sorry, it's my fault. All right. Show me your ID. Which one is your ID? You see here? You see those? Here, like Dive, Mark Hamble. This is an ID, not the name at the top. Here, this is a different ID. Here, is this a different ID. All right? So which one is your ID? See? 
This is your ID, not the name. Otherwise, all of them, they are Mark Campbell. There's endless number of them. I'm not going to waste my time with you. Who is next? Any Mohammedan? Be nice, guys. No name calling, please. Uh, Muslim uh, Piapar, you said if Allah pray, that means he have a God, correct? Correct? Well, Allah, he pray. Didn't Allah, he pray? Isn't it the Quran says, Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi? Or you thought I am not reading your text? In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah and his angels they are praying on the Prophet and Mimi hijab may Allah bless him he says this is why the translation he says four not two so Allah he pray four but he don't pray two but it doesn't matter in the Muslim translation they try to hide the problem here we go this is the word you sully everybody knows the word you sully you sully mean pray you see I will show you I will show you the same exact word in the Quran the same exact word in the Quran and you will find that always the translation of the word you sully or you saloon you know it it mean one thing brain uh, and here you notice the first translation and how the Muslims they try to avoid the disaster in the Quran okay I'm going to copy the word you I'm going to paste it as it is chapter 3 33 verse number 43 remember it is Allah who pray on you okay so what is the word you you know what I'm going to go to the hadith I'm going to post the word you sully right in the front of your eyes as we took it from the Quran. Here we go. You sully. <laughs> what the word you sully? Pray. You see it? You see it? Pray. Every anyone who speak Arabic, he knew that the word you sully, you sully, here we go, you sully. Huh? Mean pray in the Quran when the word is in the front of Allah, the Muslim they fabricate the translation and they say you sully mean send the blessing. But let us show you how this is stupid. Because if Allah is sending a blessing, as the Muslim they try to fabricate in their translation, read carefully. Allah, He sent His blessing, grace, honor, blessing, blah blah blah, etc. That's a Muslim translation on the Prophet and also His angel. And then they put two bracket says, Ask Allah to bless and forgive him. How stupid this bracket is because if Allah He blessed him already, why the angels need to ask Allah to bless him and forgive him? Is He forgiven already or not? The blessing of Allah is already sent. Do you see how they get themselves busted? Imagine, imagine, I have a boss and I want him to give me a vacation. I go inside the office, he give me a vacation. I ask him for a one month vacation. He says, okay, one month vacation. I go out and I say, hey, angels, go and ask Allah to give you one month vacation. He just gave you the vacation. <laughs> Do you see how stupid they interpret, how, how they try to fool us? If Allah already blessed Muhammad, why, why, 
the, you need to say and the angels will ask Allah for a blessing he already blessed Muhammad like is that will expired is that like a credit card so when they fabricate the translation trying to cover the problem they add things which will make Islam incredibly foolish Secondly, pupil, you always post things. Why you don't call me man? When you are going to be man? And you are talking about God being created. Do you know that your God is created from uh, the sweat of a horse? Your God created from the sweat of a horse. Is that true? You see, you just made me remember something. I did not talk about it for a while. Is it true? Who is a Muslim when I say to me, you are a liar? There's nothing is called Muhammad Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman. What Muhammad? You mean search for him in Arabic? Okay. So why he gave us Mark Hamble before? All right. Yeah, there's no such a name Muhammad Abdul Rahman this guy is a joker see I searched there's no such a name forget about him Muhammadan is it true that your God Allah is a created from the sweat of a horse Hello. If we ask Zakir Naik if this is true or not, what he will say, uh, Doctor Zakir Naik. Here there is a, a brother. He's asking, is it true that Allah He created Himself uh, from the sweat of a horse? We have a Muslim caller. Let us see. Salam alaikum. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me be sure that. All right. How are you, Mister Truth? Uh, I'm good. How are you? Wa alaikum salam. I'm fine. Did you hear me saying that uh, Allah he is created from the sweat of a horse? Yes, I want a reference for that if you don't mind, brother. Okay. Uh, but you heard that before or never? No, never. Oh, okay. I would be amazed. I'm amazed right now. I'm shocked. I don't think there's anything. Well, here we go. Let that. me, here we go. I just open it. This is Lisa, uh, Lisa Do you see my screen? Um, in second, brother, yes, okay. This time will be speak Arabic, right? Uh, no, no, so how we can okay? Hold on, let us uh, let me then. I try I'm to, not, I'm not an Arab, man, huh? I'm Muslim, I'm I know you are a Muslim, a but you are not an Arab, right? You are saying not an Arab, okay? No, hold I'm on, not okay, okay, you know what. I will show it to you in Arabic first, and then I'm going to click the translation of Google. And, but you know, Google is not really a very yes. much good. You know, read with me. In Allah, لما أراد أن يخلق نفسه خلق الخيل فأجراها حتى عرقت ثم خلق نفسه من ذلك العرق. Translation. I will click. Yes. English translation. All right. All right. It says, uh, he said here, he kept it as talk that God did not want to create himself. He created horses. So he made them sweat and then he created himself from their sweat, not their race. This is a, a, a stupid translation of Google. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... <laughs> Let me see. And, and for sure, by the way, the Muslim they will say, We reject this hadith. We don't accept this hadith, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, even how the idea come to their head, you see, there is no smoke without fire. Is that correct? Yes. So why a scholar he will come to us such a statement that Allah he made the horses run? This is what it says in Arabic. Allah he made the horses run and when he made them run he made them run for a purpose to sweat 
and when they sweat yes. he created himself from the sweat of the horses what it's it's really uh yeah this is what it says this is what it says it actually it. Uh, it, well this is what it says i mean this is the this is not uh and by the way uh, they might say to you they might say to you that this is shia statement though this is not even shia this is sunni because al hanbali is the one who came with this you know let me see if i can find you uh, other other uh, reference al hanbali i never heard of that guy oh, okay. it sounds interesting oh. Yeah, it is. See, I'm trying just to find you like an official, not just a website. Uh, yes. Okay, this is. الموسوعة الميسرة في تراجم أئمة التفسير والإقراء والنحو اللغة الموسوعة الميسرة like uh, like uh, I don't know what translate for you like you know if you have like a, a dictionary but it's like a huge one you know this is what موسوعة is uh, uh, in in all the uh, the official writing of the scholars and the أئمة the imams and here it says yeah. In the book of al sifat it says he have a hadith. Mm. It says, "In Allah, when He arada an yakhluq nafsa, He khalaq al khayl, fa ajraha hatta ariqat, thumma khalaq nafsa min dalik al arq." When Allah He wanted to create Himself, He created the horses, and then He made it run, fa ajraha, hatta ariqat, until it sweat, sweat really heavy. And then yes. he created himself from the sweat of that horses. Yes. Huh? But um, so the, yeah, the, but it's it's then obvious that uh, most Muslims, may, if not all, uh, will reject this hadith because uh, it doesn't go hand in hand with but the Quran. No, actually, it does go. It goes hand by hand with the Quran. Why it doesn't go hand by? Hand? Let me. Okay. You see, where in the Quran it says that Allah He did not create it Himself? Nowhere. He begets not, and no, is He begotten? Hmm. Well, hold on. The hadith we showed you just a while ago, I don't know for how long you were watching, and we said that Allah. I apologize. I he comes. It's all right. No problem, my friend. I welcome you. You are a very polite man, and you are welcome always to call me. Uh, the hadith, this is Sahir Bukhari. Yes. Sahir Bukhari is not a joke, correct? This is the most accurate reference. So yeah. let us say this hadith there is rejected. Okay, no problem. What about here? Allah, he have a shape and Allah, he changed his shape. So the second you say he have a shape and then he have other shape, that's mean somebody created that shape. Mm. Correct? Correct. Let us say, okay, Allah have a shape already now. But now you are saying to me that Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and he will say so this is totally different shape okay who is the one who created this shape mm. what do you think Allah okay so Allah created Allah if you uh, of course not Oh, but but this is what it says. You are the one I ask you, <laughs> my friend. I asked you, who is the one who created that shape? But that shape is Allah. But what if what if that shape was there all along? If it... no, no, no. What, that, that's mean there's two Allah. If that shape is Allah and the other shape is Allah, that means there's many Allah. Hmm. Yeah, this really. Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing. But always there is first time with the Christian brother. Prince. <laughs> no, I. You know the reason is, and I hope you are listening carefully. The reason you, as a Muslim, 
you always say I never uh, this is the first time I hear this because when you read mm. you don't think deeply you just read and by the way not only Muslims do that even Christians most of people mm. they don't really think deeply like if I give you this hadith by itself I'm sure you heard me saying that this hadith before don't didn't you um, no you saying this hadith before you never heard me speaking about this hadith here uh, not, not the horse this one the shape of Allah. I missed it. Huh? probably I missed, maybe I missed it okay so if Allah he is coming to you with a shape and now shape. he is going to change his shape who is the one who will mm. give him the second shape either we say he borrow it <laughs> or he buy it bought it from somewhere from amazon.com or he made it <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> where he got it from so the only solution the best solution will be Allah he created the, the, the shape correct yeah okay yeah uh, so, yes. all right that's me Allah created himself because now he is in he is in that he is that shape he is that shape Allah he don't have a spirit Allah is not a spirit so that shape is Allah Allah created the new shape Allah created the new Allah mm. so what we would do now so we rejected the hadith about the horse correct yeah because Allah created himself from the sweat of the horses which I find it me myself is very weird I mean what and why horses what about donkeys <laughs> <I mean>. <laughs> <laughs> camels, camels. yeah yeah you Muslims are funny sometimes but look at this here this is this they cannot deny this hadith this is Sahih Bukhari to show the reference and nobody can deny in a, even for a second that this is a very accurate hadith what they will say I'm lying No, and this is appearing in many places, not only in this hadith. Tons. So this is a very accurate hadith, confirming that Allah have shape number one, and He has shape number two. And when I ask you, okay, when Allah come with different shape, who is the one who created the other shape? You said Allah, correct? Yeah. So Allah created Himself. So Allah created this shape and then he turned into the shape that makes him uh, creating himself because you see if Allah created a shape and He will come to you in that shape If that shape is not Allah now we have a problem Because how he is that shape You see it says there read carefully with me Allah will come to them in a shape They know and will say so he is in a shape yes okay so now he have a shape already and now he will come to them in a shape they know and he will say so there is two shapes shape they don't know shape they know and which way is very weird I mean what is the shape Muslims they know this is very silly mm. uh, as I know there is no Muslim Maybe so in, Allah. The power, in a power like thing no, no, no! It's a, it's a shape, my friend. Even the Quran says he was so. He, he, they will recognize him from his shin. You see, there's a hadith that says, and even the Quran says shin. So here, Allah is coming in a new shape, other than the one which they know. That is a new creation of a new shape. Allah will use. Who is the one who created yes. that shape? Must be Allah. Allah created Allah. Okay, what happened now to the first shape, uh, Muslim? You see, Allah, He okay. come to them in other shape. Correct? This is what Hadith is saying. Yes. Okay, what happened to the shape before it? Uh, of course, He changed shape. It's not, I don't think it's like a physical thing. No, Allah is it a physical. physical. No, 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 my friend. Allah is so a physical. No, Allah is a like, physical. Yeah, but brother, just like energy changes form. It doesn't have to be someone going inside something. Okay, it's first of like all, let us change. First story. of all, let us come to an agreement. Are you saying Allah is not a physical being? Um, something we can compare, of course not. No, no, Allah is a physical being. You can go and watch my debate with many scholars. All of them they agree that Allah is a physical being. All the Muslims agree Allah is a physical being, and He have no spirit. Mm. Allah has no spirit. Actually, I just opened the 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 fatwa <coughs> here. Yes. You see, there's a guy who's debating with with the uh, with the Christians like me, 
and he's asking if Allah has a spirit he is debating mm -hmm. with the Christians and is asking does Allah has a spirit have a spirit the answer no the answer Allah the spirit or soul is not one of the attributes of Allah rather it is one of the things have been created by Allah so Allah has no mm -hmm. spirit okay so if Allah is not spirit he's not a physical being so what he is <laughs> That that's means not exist because nothing left. You have no other <laughs> options. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I get. You. Okay, yeah, I get you. so he is not a spirit, and now what is left? He's a physical being. Okay, so now he's a physical being, and now Allah creating a new shape of that physical being. Who is the one who created the physical being? Allah. Allah. Mm. Okay, what Allah he did to the first physical being? He killed him. He burned him, or now we have to Allah. He made it disappear. Just go. So Allah, He made like Allah. This. Allah, He made Allah disappear. No, not like that. Not like no, no, that. no. It have to be like that because let, let me let me try to explain it to you. Uh, <clears throat> let us do this. Look with me in the screen. I'm going to draw draw something and forgive me my 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 drawing is not uh, you know I'm not I'm not I'm not an artist say, 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 okay. say, so let us say I'm not going to make any shape uh, to make fun of your God uh, let us say no, no, I don't okay here we go I, I will make this is this is Allah three, the angle okay this is Allah and now we have shape here shape a and shape B all right all right yes so this is shape number a and this is yes. shape number B wonderful yes okay when Allah he was shape number a shape a is Allah he is Allah mm. is not inside the shape because to say he was inside the shape that's mean he is a spirit maybe mm. but we discover he is not a spirit so he is the shape he is a physical being so this physical being here that shape is Allah which is without mm -hmm. spirit you know there's no spirit inside this shape okay now Allah mm -hmm. he transformed himself or he come in a new shape uh, yes uh, bro can I ask you something real quick in uh, between okay so uh, uh, when you were uh, debating the scholars and stuff, did they actually agree that Allah was a spirit? Absolutely. You can search for my debate with Dr. Dr. Nabil Baikli as an example. Dr. Nabil Baikli, the head of mm -hmm. the Islamic Center of Tennessee, is a Sunni. Oh, oh. He's a Sunni. And Imam of the Mosque of Tennessee, his name is Imam Malik Sar. Both of them, they were debating me. And they said clearly, mm -hmm. with the clear words, I can we can find the video. They said, Allah is a physical being. But how Allah looked like, we don't know. Dr. Rohi have a BD that, that's, from, that's from crazy. Azhar. Huh? That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, this is what like, it is. This is what it is, my friend. It's not up to you, up to me. It's, this, is, this is what it is. This is what it is. So Allah, the physical being now. Okay. So Allah, he come to you in a new physical being. So what happened to the old physical being? If we say that the old physical being, as you said, making disappear, that's mean Allah, he made Allah disappear. Mm. So what happened? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. That's, nothing makes sense in Islam. You see, the Muslim they say how 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 God can be a man, right? Mm. Okay. And how Allah can have shape? Why he have a shape anyway? As long as you are I, questioning, I uh, as long as you are questioning the nature of God. Allah has a shape. Right? Hmm? Yes. Oh yeah, go ahead, brother. I, I was just saying I don't agree. Uh, from my uh, point of view that Allah is actually a physical thing or it's not maybe even uh, my, my friend it's not up to you it's not up to me you see I'm sharing with you what Islam is not my wishes or your wishes yes. this is this is Islam either you take it or you leave it the same as you say Jesus is God he's a man and God at the same time it's not up to you to say he was not a man it's not up to me to say he was a, he's a man and God in the same time this is what we leave this is Christianity either we take it or we leave it so yes. uh, uh, this is what Islam teaching the Muslims here, even in the hadith, which make it more more dangerous, the statement of Muhammad here, he made it clear that because Allah, he changed his shape, you rejected him. 
Mm. You see, then Allah will come to them in the shape they know, and they will say, He will say, I'm your Lord. Then, then they will say, You are our Lord. But before, when He come to them in a shape which they do not know, other than the one they know, He will say, I am your Lord. They will say, We seek refuge with Allah from you, which means not only they reject Him, they believe He is the devil. Huh? Yeah, because when you when you say you as a Muslim, when you say I seek refuge by by Allah from you, that's mean Shaitan in you talking to me, correct? We seek mm. refuge by Allah from who? From Satan, not from a human. Yes. And the Quran confirmed that. So Allah coming to them and they say to him, "You are Shaitan. We seek refuge by Allah from you." All what happened is just he changed his shape. Mm. So the Muslims. Cannot recognize Allah for being Allah. The Muslims they can recognize Allah for being in a shape which they like. Mm. And what kind of God this God is? Customer service. You know, this is AT and T. What kind of shape you like us to send you at the modem? We have a triangle modem. We have a square modem. <laughs> we have. What do you want, brother? You know and say I don't accept I don't believe that internet can come from a circle modem I want a triangle modem <laughs> so now they will send you a modem in the way you like this is Allah how this is can be true do you, you know somebody actually somebody he just gave me an idea do you think Allah he was like he printed himself in a 3d printer mm. no so where the shape is coming from and well, what if and what, question and do you also material? accept that uh, let's say when uh, God was talking to Moses and the uh, and the Israelites hmm. uh, did he also came in a shape of four when the, he was uh, talking to them yes, the Quran actually the Israelites yeah. were afraid okay that, uh, you just remind uh, me actually to talk about that thank you yeah. okay if we go in the Quran we remember that uh, uh, Moses he come he saw a fire from far away Correct. Yes. Okay. What the Quran says? The Quran says, "Buraka man fi nar, wa man haulaha." I don't know if you understand what I just said. Of course not. Okay. Let us show you the translation then. In chapter twenty-seven, verse number eight, it says, "Talking about Moses." Okay. Moses, he was away. You, you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Um. When Moses said to his household, his family, Verily I have seen a fire. So he was in the dark at night, he saw a fire. I will bring you from there some information, which means I will bring you a fire. Or I will bring you a burning brand, okay, to warm yourself. Uh, then, but when he come to it, to it what? The fire, right? Mm. Okay. He was called blessed is is who is ever is in the fire who is is in the fire I will bring you from is that the burning oh, is that the burning Allah no, but it doesn't say Allah was in the fire. Okay, who is the one in the fire? <laughs> I have seen a fire. I will bring you from there some information, or I will bring you a burning brand that you may warm yourselves. Mm -hmm. So, who is the one blessed? The blessed one in the fire. God is blessed. Okay, so now who is the one in the fire? Then he is a blessed. The one is around the fire is Musa. The one is in mm -hmm. the fire is who the sound says to you who is he he said oh Moses verily it is Allah almost oh, really it is all I Allah mm. the Almighty what always so who is the one in the fire <laughs> Allah okay is the fire is a physical being in this case Fire. What if Allah was a person in here? Huh? 
and he just showed him the, what if Allah was the third person in here and he showed uh, he showed Moses the bush fire and then he was just talking to Moses but that doesn't mean but he no, had to be okay, in the fire okay, okay. to talk to Moses okay let me ask you okay no problem I will go with you I will go with you when Allah he spoke he spoke from where um, from he Allah is everywhere no and no way if no, no whatever no, no 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 Islam does not believe Allah is everywhere that's not true Allah spoke from the tree is that correct mm, from the tree from the tree read carefully with me Where it says, does it say? Yes. Does it say he it's he spoke from the tree? We can highlight. So for you. Uh, it the fire. He was called from the right side of the valley, in the blessed place from the tree. O Musa, Moses, verily I am Allah, the Lord okay. of the Alamin, mankind, jinns, and all existence. All right. He spoke from where? From the tree. And what is burning? The tree. Mm. Right? So Allah in this moment, He is a tree. He is a burning tree. From the tree of Musa. So He was here in the form, uh, you're saying, right? It says there He is the tree. Because why uh, do you believe in the tree is speaking? No. No. Okay. So there is a fire, and you see the Quran. When the Quran says, "Blessed is the one in the fire," right? Mm -hmm. I, I may, brother, brother Christian priest. I may uh, come arrogant, yeah, with asking these questions. But no, I no, just no, want no, to no, know. No, I, I'm I here to. I'm, I'm here to help you, my friend. No, it's okay. No. Yes. Let us go so, to the other chapter, chapter twenty-seven, verse number eight, actually. It says, when he come to it, he was called, blessed is whoever is in the fire. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, in, in, in the same time, in chapter number 28, it says, in verse number 30, he, Allah, he spoke from the tree, saying, O Moses, verily I am Allah. There's no question that this is Allah, correct? You didn't say I am Jibreel or no. So he is speaking from the tree, and what is burning? The tree. So the burning tree, and obviously Muhammad he is trying to copy from the Old Testament when God he spoke to Moses from the burning bushes. So when he reached the fire, he was called from the right side of the valley in the blessed place. It's even the place is blessed. Why? Why is it blessed? You see, because Allah if, if Allah is exists yeah. everywhere, that means everywhere is a, is a blast. Mm. It's not like he is literally everywhere, but he sees he can interact everywhere. No, Allah no. cannot interact. You see, first of all, Allah does not exist. Allah is a, is a, Allah is a joke. Uh, uh, Allah is not even, the, the word Allah is not even exist. The true name of the God of Islam is Lah. Al yeah. is an old, yeah. Al is an old ancient Aramaic. And ancient Hebrew mm. Al is a word mean God. Let us type it L. L, yes, Al is a word mean uh, God. Yiddish or real Hebrew? Huh? Yiddish or real Hebrew? A Hebrew and Aramaic. The ancient Aramaic and the ancient Hebrew. And uh mm. La is the true name of the God of Islam. So Al La Al God La God La. You see, today in the New Hebrew, what they say? They say, Ezra, yield, right? Yes. Yield is a word mean God. In the Old Hebrew, it was Ezra, yal. Israel. Israel, yeah. Ishmael was Ishmael. Mikael, it was Mikael. Gabriel was Gabriel. So, the, the language had changed by time, and Al became Eel. 
so al is the ancient one il is the new one like we christian we say that jesus is emmanuel il but in the ancient hebrew it should be emmanuel so al has, has al is a word in the aramaic or the, the hebrew it's not necessarily about the true god it, it's any it's a word meaning god you, you understand mm -hmm. Now, if you believe in that God, that make it make him your God. So Allah is Allah. This is why if you go in the Quran, you will find in chapter two, chapter one, verse number two, it says, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdu. Let us go to the Quran, verse number one and two. Look with me in the screen. Yes, I'm looking. All right. It says here. Let me zoom more so we can make it even bigger. All right. If you look here, you will see the following. Do you notice that Allah here is different? Here there's an alif. Here there's no alif. This appear. Which one was alif? The alif first Lami. one, verse number oh, one. Yeah. Verse number one, there's alif. You see the alif? Yes, yes. Okay, let me make an arrow in it. Uh, so you can see it. Yeah, I see it. All right. Here we have Aleph. Here the Aleph is gone. Why? Here it says, Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Here it says, <coughs> Alhamdulillah. Li lah. Okay. Let's type Lilah. the first one. We will type the first one and the second one. Mm -hmm. Alhamdu, the first one, Bismillah, Al La. Mm. This is the first one. A and L appear in the beginning of the word. The second one, it doesn't say Allah, it says Alhamdu Li La. In Arabic, Li means two. La. Alhamdu Li La. There's only letter L. Before the la, mm. what what is the name of God? La, li mean two. La. All right. Mm. So Hamid, you know what Hamid mean, right? Hamid to who? Hamid to la. That is the true name of the God of Islam. It is la, and you can search in Google. La is the moon god. The moon god? Yeah. You don't know. Moon God, huh? yeah, you worship the moon God, my friend. Let me let me search for you in Google. Hold on, La is the ancient name of the moon God. This is have nothing to do with was the Christians or, in, or, in, or, in, in, or was it a literal name, huh? Was La a title given to the moon god in the past? No, no, this is his name. This is, no, this, name? Is, this, is, this is his name. La is the moon god. La is a very well known name for the moon god. All right. Uh, here you will see all of those. Let me let me show you. No, uh, but the reason why the Muslims they use these moon symbols in mosque and stuff, yeah, it's not something that dates back to the Prophet Muhammad, it's something that actually is just recent. Uh, because uh, because of the Celtic Turks. No, not true, not true. No, that's not true. That's not true. Okay, you see, here, like this is a website. I'm not going to read the whole article. You can search yourself. Yeah, la. Yeah is another another word for God. The Christian they say Yahweh, Yahweh. Okay, Yah, la. Do you see the screen? Yah, la. Yeah, yeah, is a word meaning God. La is the name. Yeah, la. What is the name? La, the name of what? Of the moon God. So, how do you say God in general in Arabic? There is Just many words. Like there is many words. There is Rab. And those are not Arabic words, by the way. Arabic. There is nothing called Arabic, really. All of this is coming from other languages. Most of it is coming from the Aramaic. Like this is why you say in in Hebrew, uh, Rabbi, Rabbi, you know, Rab. Rab in Arabic mean God. It can be even my Lord, like Master. So many, there is many words, uh, but when you say La, it is a name. That's why the Muslims agree 
that it is a name of, of, of their God. It's not a word meaning God. Correct? Mm. It is a name, not a word meaning God. But well, it's still it not depends. accurate. No, all Muslims take that. It's, it's a bit uh, all over the place. Some guys say God, Allah doesn't have names. He only no, has no, 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 no. Uh, 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 Muhammad, he made it clear that the best names of Allah is... Uh, uh, is uh, is uh, this is his name actually even the Quran if we go in the Quran you see this is the problem Muslims do not know anything about their uh, cult when Muhammad first time he started using the word Ar Rahman the people around him they said to him who is Ar Rahman this is new no, they were saying who was Ar Rahman who you're referring to. Yeah. They had no, 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 they said no, 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 no. They said they said uh, Muhammad used to worship one God, his name is Allah, and now he is worshiping Ar Rahman. All right, and this is why Muhammad he answered them saying in chapter 17, verse number 10, saying, Read with me carefully, say, O Muhammad, invoke Allah or invoke the Rahman you see here they translated but it's false or invoke a Rahman by whatever name you invoke him for it belong all the the best name belong to Allah so it's a name so Muhammad now he add a new name to Allah which is a Rahman a guy who is a false prophet his name is Rahman al Yamama he sent him a message he wrote there uh, in the name of Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, Muhammad, he like it. He wrote a letter back. He says, "In the name of the Prophet of Islam, etc. In the name of Allah Ar Rahman." The Arab, the Muslims around him, they said, "Who is?" And the, even the even the pagan, they says, "Muhammad, he used to worship one God. His name is Allah, and now he is calling two, Ar Rahman. The only Rahman we know is Rahman al Yamama." And let me show you the reference, so you don't say I'm making things up. You want? To see it yeah okay yes so this is the chapter 17 verse number 110 okay we go there oh, we are lucky now the website stop kind of stop working mm. I'm clicking at display. Let us try Asbab and Nuzul. Anyway, you can open it anytime. This is the website at Tafsir. You know at Tafsir.com? Yes. I can give you, a, I will post the link in. Uh, or you can send to. I will, uh, I will post the link in the chat. And you guys, when when it's open, let me know so we can open it. Because this website, sometimes you know what? Don't click at the link for now. Because I think if we uh, we have many clicks, this website, I think they are uh, the king of Jordan. He is using the internet of the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, he's cheap. You know, he's a, he's a, he's poor. He have he's bankrupt. Uh, yeah, it's not open. His website sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. Yeah, it's open for you. Okay, let me try to open with different. Uh, Browser, I don't know why it's not opening for me. <laughs> oh, you see, but it's not changing. It's it's uh, it's opening for me the old uh, chapter. It's opened chapter twenty one, verse number seventeen, which means the link did not change yet. Here we go. Here we go. Finally, thank God. Uh, I think uh, I think his wife, five the king, is switched to the guy in the second floor. All right, uh, can you read the screen with me? Yes, uh, okay. this, is, right? this is the book of Asbab and Nuzul. This is Sunni book, that's not Shia. Asbab and Nuzul means the reason for the verses to come down. All right, mm. uh, here it says, He keeps saying in his prostration, Oh, the beneficent, oh, oh, Rahman, oh, Ar Rahim. And so the adulterer said, Oh, Muhammad used to call into one Allah, now he is calling into two <laughs> Allah and Ar Rahman. Do you see it? And they said, we do not know anyone by the name of Ar Rahman except the Rahman of Al Yamama. Huh? 
Do you see it? Mm. Okay. Open. Uh... And look what happened. You see, everything I say, we don't lie. Everything we say is the truth. They never heard him saying yeah. Rahman. But, but Muhammad, you, you, the Muslim, they have the word of Rahman from the beginning of the Quran. So now, just now, after receiving more than the half of the Quran, now Muhammad, he heard that Allah, his name is a Rahman too. What happened suddenly? But look what happened. The guy who his name is Musaylama, they, the Muslim, they call him the liar to insult him. Very insulting cult. And he, so Allah, the exalted, uh, he revealed in this verse, said, etc., uh, etc., et at the beginning of the revelation, Allah, messenger, bless him and give him peace, used to write, in the name of Allah, do you see it? In the beginning of the revelation, never use the word Rahman, in the name of Allah only. Until this verse was revealed. All right? So before that, he never, but look what happened. Mm. After which he wrote in the name of Allah the beneficent the, mer the merciful the Arab the idolater command uh, 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 Commented that we know that the merciful uh, We do not know anyone his name is a Rahman we, we know who's the merciful because this is used in Aramaic too, but who is a Rahman? As a respond Allah he gave him that all right mm -hmm. uh, And why he why he used that he received a letter from Musaylama and Muhammad he respond to Musaylama from the same words he wrote Rahman al Yamama, which is Musaylama, as even the Muslims agree here, he is the only one who used the word Rahman. You see, they say the only one we know, his name is Rahman, and his God, his name is Rahman, is Rahman al Yamama. Do you see it? Yamama is an area, so he is Rahman, the mm. guy of Imama, his name, this guy is Rahman, and this is the guy who has God is Rahman. So what happened to Muhammad now? Muhammad, he heard the name. He liked the name. He added in his Quran. And the Quran confirmed that Allah is a name. For he said, in the name of Allah. Correct? Mm. Is it the Quran says in verse number one? In the name. In the name of Allah. So he's not saying in the name of God. When you say when you say Shahada, what do you say? Do you say there's no Allah but Allah, or you say there's no God but Allah? If the word Allah is a word mean God, no, then you can, you, that, that means you can say there's no Allah but Allah, correct? If the word Allah is just a word mean yes. God, okay. So you don't say and, and there's no God but uh, but uh, but God. You don't say there's no Allah but Allah. You say there's no God but Allah because Allah is the name. And here Muhammad, he as La ilaha illallah, right? Yeah, but but Muhammad here, ilah is a word meaning God, ilah, il, il, ilah. Okay, but this is not where the word uh, Allah is coming from. Allah, as I showed you, a l and la, la is the other name of the God of the fertility. You see, Muhammad, you know what the black stone, right? What the black stone? The one what was Abraham. What was the black stone? No, the black stone have nothing to do uh, with Abraham. What Abraham? Abraham, he never been there. <laughs> the black stone is a vagina where the Arab who <laughs> worshipped the god of fertility. I'm not making fun. I'm just saying the truth, my friend. Uh, actually, it is in the shape of a vagina. Let me show you the black stone. Hold on. Stuff. And wow, even, the the tafsir, even the tafsir, even the tafsir, it says that the black stone became a stone black black because of the women touching their vagina with their blood in their hand and they touch the the black stone and that would make it uh black all right now tell me what is this uh, well, do you see, have, i want to see this uh, no, no, no. do you have do you have uh, do you have any explanation for why the shape of this black stone like this uh, a square it's, this is not square. This is square for you. Oh, I, I oh no, yeah, and now I see it. Oh, you mean that uh, stone? Yeah, the black stone. Yeah. What is well, the, what is the shape? What is this? It, it's a circle. It's not circular. circular. It's not circle. Do you see the frame around it? Why it's why it's oh, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the frame. It's just to resemble how it used to be always. It's a vagina. Wait, but, but that thing is is put there. Like it doesn't people, matter because so, uh, now because there's nothing left of the black stone. You see, the black stone is gone. The black stone, Al Qurmuti, he destroyed the Kaaba. 
He took it. He used it as a bathroom stone for more than 21 years. And then what when he sent them back the stone, he sent them th uh, eight little tiny stones. All what you see here is waxing. There's no stones left. But they are trying to keep it in the old shape, the, the, the way it used to be. You know? Like, if you look at this picture here, do you see the stones you are kissing in the car? But there's no stones. There's nothing left. This is wax. So this is what is left. Eight little tiny stones. Do you see it? Oh, like this. Yeah. Mm. You don't have a stone. The stone is gone. <laughs> but uh, what I'm talking about, what is the origin of this? Arab before Islam, they used to go uh, walk naked around the Kaaba. Do you know that or no? Uh, no, not naked or something. I just knew that they had uh, so many idols around the no, Kaaba. They used to go naked because this is a naked religion. This is a sexual religion. And Islam is nothing but a continue of this sexual religion. If we go in the Hadith, let us, let us look in the Hadith. The Hadith says, confirm, that even after Muhammad took over Mecca, still the people used to go around the Kaaba naked. Um, but, but it's just it's just the building was there, and then the people use it in all the way. That was not supposed to be like. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. You see, this is everything have an origin. But did you ask yourself what is the religion there? I mean, okay, forget about the idols, the black stone which you kiss and Muslim Muhammad kiss. Why for them? Why they are practicing this? What is the religion there? Look, Hisham narrated in the authority of his father, blah, 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 blah. It's okay. Uh, he says in the uh, uh, the Arab, in the exception of the Homs, who were in uh, uh, Quraysh and their descendant, they go around the Kaaba naked. Do you see it? Mm. So you go around the Kaaba today. And you were still naked, nothing changed. Muhammad, all what he did, he made you wear a sheet. Mm. And why Muhammad he made them wear a sheet? If you go and get my book, Six and Allah, you will see that he liked a woman and he was jealous that everybody looking at her bum and her vagina and her breast. He wanted to marry her or to have her to be his uh, uh, girlfriend. So because of that woman, <laughs> After Not that, well. after the women, she 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 go around the Kaaba and she was singing the same song which the no, Arab no. used to sing for for centuries. No. Hmm? no, 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 that's not true, man. That's not true. <laughs> get my book. Do you have my books? Oh, uh, get, no, man. Okay, get my book, Sex and Allah, and you will see all the reference you. Want. <laughs> that's the for Allah. What is the no. for Allah? Okay, uh, listen, listen. After all, I showed you. I mean, am I lying to you? Have you ever seen what, me lying to what, you about anything I say? Uh, Have you ever heard me saying something and I did lie? Be honest. I don't know. I'm not too. What do you mean? You don't know? To, uh, didn't everything I say I show? Hmm. And I'm showing it to you in the screen. Yes. Okay. So what do you mean you say to me? You don't know. So I'm talking to you now for the last hour. And I think you called me before, right? Is that the first time you called me or you called me before? Oh, sorry, brother. Uh, this is the first time I call you, man. Oh, okay. First so, so, you know, we're online. I'm not lying. Yeah. I, from what I've seen, you uh, haven't. And this is brother. So are you going to stay Muslim after what I showed you? After all of this garbage? Uh, so I got uh, I got to look, look into this, but I can't just. What do you mean? You, uh, I'm, I'm showing you. We are looking right now. We are looking. Why Muhammad is a black? I gotta see what the scholars say. What the arguments against? What scholars? Your scholars cannot answer anything, my friend. What scholars? Okay, let us have a deal, me and you. What about you challenge your scholar and tell him if you don't call this guy, I'm going to leave Islam, just to force him to call me. I will. They will never uh, dare to call me. You want to bet? I can bet. Okay, well, I, I will bet. If you win, Allah will double your versions in the heaven. <laughs> if I lose, stop. I will give you my uh, 70 uh, versions. Which version? you. There are no versions in heaven. The, what uh, do you mean stop. there's no versions? No, your prophet, he said, you will have versions, and they are very sexy, and you know it. <laughs> 
what are you, are you making fun of your prophet now okay well, your prophet he says that so what do you mean what do you mean uh, what, do you, what do you mean you do you like what is what versions you do not know that your prophet he promised you uh, you know a lot of women who they are coming in the heaven just for sex entertainment let me show you the hadith before I let you go not the, only the, that is it said in the Quran in the Quran and the hadith I will show you both hold on no yeah maybe in the hadith but no 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 in the Quran and the hadith I will show you you will just hold hold your horses do you see what your prophet said this is Sahir Bukhari this is Sahir Bukhari oh, yeah. the, the Muhammadan cannot say this is a lie Sahir Bukhari three two four five uh, four five four it says that Allah will give you the versions the whore uh, who they are so beautiful to the point they are transparent they are so white and to the point you can see the marrow of their bones in their legs and you will see uh, uh, you will be able to be seen through the bones and the flesh do you see it you uh, brother what wait you, what does horse mean a horse is, is the whore whore the word whore the version oh so brother in the heaven of Allah Allah will give you very beautiful women like this look at this look how beautiful and look at I, don't, I don't want to look man no look, look, man. Look, look. look it's very tempting it's very, <laughs> I was thinking to convert to Islam <laughs> Hey, come on, this is what your prophet said. Well, don't laugh, man. People will be you a funny guy, brother. Man. I gotta give you that. Man. You this, funny is, guy. this is this is what your prophet said. Why you are laughing? I mean, show respect, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is guys, is it this is what his prophet said? What's the problem? <laughs> what, what is the problem? <laughs> What's that? This is what your prophet he promised you. I showed you the hadith, you know. <laughs> Oh, my friend, right. this is your prophet. He promised you. Why you are laughing? I mean, uh, we have to be, we have to be honest. <laughs> this is what your prophet he promised you. But I mean, look at this. I mean, this is so hot, man. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually. I wasn't going to show this because each time I show it, a lot of people convert to us now. <laughs> what? Look at this position. Look at this one. I mean, you will. I think you will like this one more. And that will make you stay as a Muslim more now. No, man, no, what no. To, this, what no, no, no? <laughs> the, you're a prophet. This is Sahir Bukhari. He said you will see, guys. Did we just show a second ago the hadith saying you will see the marrow of their bones? We just showed you. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Does it say that? This is Sahir Bukhari. Am I lying? You will see the marrow of their What's bones. The side side? Huh? Was it Sahih Bukhari? Yes, Sahih Bukhari. Uh, I'm showing it in the screen, my friend, with the with the numbers. Hadith number three, two, five, four. All right. We are showing it in the screen. Let me write this. Okay. So this is Sahih Bukhari saying you will see you will see through. They are see through. They are so white to the point you can see even the marrow of their bones. So I'm showing you pictures which is very realistic. We have to show respect to the Prophet teaching. Look. She would do this to you. Do you see the high heels? I mean, this is very sexy. I know. You know, last. You know. <laughs> well, what am I gonna do with this, man? Each each time, each time I I I, I see this, I, I think about getting married. I cannot resist this temptation. <laughs> Look at this here. And even this one is me. I I think this uh, this who are here. I think she have. No. I see something there. I think she have hamburger here. Is that hamburger or what? I'm not sure. It might this, be. This I don't know. It may be falafel. I'm not sure. There's something. She ate something before she do that. You know. And I see some shit here. <laughs> <laughs> what? I this don't is, know, man. I don't this know. is reality check, my friend. And you will be doing this in the heaven of Allah. Alhamdulillah. No, no. What? It's not a libel, man. It's not a What do you mean? This is Al Bukhari. This is Al Bukhari. What's wrong, man? This is Al Bukhari, and I showed you the reference. Don't tell me this is not reliable. <laughs> so, did you, did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Otherwise, you would get this. <laughs>
وات لا لا نو 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 وات نو نو I will look into this, brother. I will look into this. Thank you. You see, I don't know what's your name. And you keep saying to me, I will look at this. I just showed to you in the screen why we cannot be brave and be honest with ourselves. You don't want to be honest with me. It's up to you. Can't you be honest with yourself? Did I show it to you in the screen? Is that Sahir Bukhari? Is that Sunnah.com? So what do you mean that we need to look at it? I got to look into the... Uh... Of course, the arguments against it and stuff. Yeah. What what's called say about so this? Aren't you going to make a decision? What what does that mean? I mean, I showed you the proof and the reference. I'm not making things up. I never said something to you since you called me without showing you what I'm saying. Never. Mm. So what you will do? You will stay following such a garbage. I'm not being uh, I'm not being rude to you, but this is garbage. No, no, I don't. I don't. I don't care. It, it doesn't trigger me or anything. But okay. So why? It doesn't trigger. You can't curse everything. It doesn't trigger. No, no. I'm not cursing. I'm just saying. I'm saying what I believe. This is garbage. This is garbage. I mean, uh, what what kind of God when I do this? What is this? And, and what kind of a beauty this beauty is? This is disgusting. Supposedly, but I will tell you why. Muhammad, he is an Arab, and he is speaking to the Arab, and the Arab they like white women, so he always exaggerate in his lies. So he exaggerate that they are so white to the point you can see. They are racist. The Arab are racist. They don't like black people. They are racist. So he exaggerated in his lies that they will be white to the point you can see through the bones. You see, if 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 uh, uh, mm -hmm. the, the white person, the more white he is, the more we can see the the, the vein and his, under his skin. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah exactly. All right. So Muhammad is saying uh, Muhammad if, because he's a liar. Bad. Yeah, he's exaggerating with his promises. He knew that they like very much a lot white women so he promised them not only they will be white they will be so white to the point you see through the marrow of their bones but at that moment we don't have x-ray to know what he meant exactly i mean how it's going to look like <laughs> you know but now we have the the western men they come with this this is your 72 wives brother they will be very sexy and this is good <laughs> news by the way they cannot eat your hamburger because if they do you will see it in their belly Man. Which 72 man? No one does say 72. Oh, man. no, actually, 72 is the lowest reward. 72 is not the reward of a Muslim man. This is the bad reward. Like, if you are a person who have a lowest mm. reward, Adna Ahl Jannah, the lowest. A Muslim, he don't pray, he etc. He don't do jihad. He don't kill Christians and Jews. Uh, yeah. We don't kill Christians or Jews, man. Of course, no, no. No, because if you are a good Muslim, you should do that, according to Islam. So, yeah, according is, to Muhammad, no this, is, no, this is true. I can show the proof. Adna Ahli Jannah. You see, this hadith here is not translated. Look, 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 guys, look at the translation. You see the Arabic? Look at the translation. It's gone because it's it's it's, it's stupid uh, hadith. They don't translate. Look at this one. The list of people in paradise in the position. Is one with eighty thousand boys, not servant. This is a lie. It is. It, it says uh, actually Khadim, but in the Quran, describe them as boys who look like pearls. So at the least, the lowest reward. This is not the highest. The the heaven of Allah have one hundred floor. So I pray, brother, that you will have the ninety nine floor at least, so you can watch typhoon from far away. So at least the the the, the least of the people of paradise, they will get a reward. 80,000 little boys huh? and 72 wives. Do you see it? Well, I see uh, uh, this 80 with a oh, it doesn't say the numbers. It said eight. Oh, I missed that. Eight so, so, and 72 wives. Yeah. Wow, well, well, no, man. This, uh, which hadith is this? Which hadith is this? Jami or Turmudi. It exists in many places, not only in this one. Jami Arm Yeah. So what do you what do you think? Do you like child abuse? Do you like to have to get eighty little boys, no, no, eighty thousand no. little boys to abuse them? Ew, no, no. Okay, I will try to convince you. And by the way, they, they will say to you this hadith is daif. Uh, because anything they don't like, it's a daif for sure, right? But the Quran mm. confirmed that there is one hundred uh, uh, level and uh, look at this here. Do you like to have money in heaven? 
M- money in heaven? Yeah, do you like to have money? Man, I don't know what I'm what I, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with that money, man. I will have posts and stuff, man. No, I will tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> what no, am no, I going to no, do no, with no, money? No. You are wrong. What is that fire? In heaven, no, in heaven instead you need money. I will show you why. Uh in the heaven there is a market. This market, you can go and buy pictures of men and women. So you can have sex with them. Pictures of uh, no. Let the bike. No, you go, show me, brother. Show me. Hmm. Let us see. I'm looking for the hadith. Uh, here we go. Indeed, in paradise, there is a market which there is no buying nor selling no buying nor saying except which means you will buy and sell but this is the only product except for images of men and women do you have to have do you like to have sex with men no 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 Allah no, no. That. Allah, it's a gift from Allah you cannot say no because here in this market there's images of men does it say men does it say images of yeah. men and women okay so images of men and women and if you like an image what you do you enter it enter it to do what to have sex that's why you have to bring no, them all right all right so so for, uh, first of all I, d I don't believe in this as whole i don't believe this but, but let's say if this was true the men uh, part refers to the women if they can choose of course but i don't believe in this as whole man uh, no, it's, not up, it's, not, no, okay, it's not up to you my friend this is islam this is the gift from allah and you know you have to enjoy the gift of Allah. He, by the way, they will be handsome men, not like normal men. They are very handsome, very good looking. That's why they are in the magazine. Yeah. And the customer is who? The customer. It says here. So whenever a man who is the one who desire a man, you see it, a man desire an image, you enter it. So you go to heaven, uh, 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 my friend, and you desire an image of a man. Maybe I don't know. Maybe Sylvester Stallone. You never know. So you desire that guy, you jump in that image, and right away you are in the bed with him. And don't forget to take selfie when you go there. Selfie. Yeah. No. And you know, if you go to the other hadith, you said you do not need money. I just showed you why you need money. In, in the heaven, there's a lot of expenses, nothing for free, as you think. There's a lot of things to spend. All of it's about sex. Uh, if you go in different hadith, uh let us see the the reason why we desire you know so, as you say sex in this life is because we need to procreate so god made us um desire this correct role. i agree that you know, sex he, is for a reason yes sex is for a reason to make the man because like... if, if, yeah, if he were uh, uh, you know uh, that and we felt pain of course people would less procreate yeah if there is no if there is no joy in it nobody would do it, it. it become yeah. like a job look, look at this what what why your prophet he tried to it's seduce not. you by by money what do you think you said money is not needed in heaven correct no okay look what your prophet no. said this is sahih muslim this is sahih all right muhammad he promised a man musa's asked according to him this is musa's conversation between musa musa's asked his lord who amongst the inhabitants of the paradise is the lowest to rank the lowest not the highest he Allah said mm. the person who would be admitted into paradise the last one the last one who enter paradise is the lowest okay what he will have read with me carefully the last of uh, of all among those who deserving of paradise who admitted it will be said to him it will be said to him this is the last one the the bad 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 guy I mean this guy almost almost he was kicked out like the last person it would be said to him Enter paradise, he would say, Oh my lord, uh, shall I enter while people have a uh, seat settled in their apartment and they took their shares? I mean, he's saying to him, like, What I will get? Uh, people they enter before me, I'm the last one. It would say, Be said to him, Would you pleased, would you be pleased if there be for you the like of the kingdom of a king amongst the kings of the world? He will say to him, Allah, 
Are you going to be pleased if I give you a money and ownership of a king? Who said king? this? Allah. Allah is talking. Moses. Allah is talking. No, Allah talking. Now. Moses, please. Allah is talking. Allah spoke to Moses. Moses asked him the question, what is the reward for the lowest man? Allah is answering. Then he will say to him, would you please, if I make you rich as the most, uh, uh, like one of the kings of the earth, he said, he would say, I'm pleased, oh my Lord. Yeah, please. And then Allah, he will say, for for you is that and like 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 that and then he says he would say at the fifth the fifth time repeating like that he said oh allah i'm pleased like that's me like come on enough 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 like five times as a king as I, I will be rich five times as any king my lord that's you know and then he would say to him it's for you like that and ten time like that so you will be ten times more rich than any king in the earth. Okay, what you would do with the money? Are you there, my friend? Yeah, yeah. Okay, are we lying to you? No. Okay, so you just say that it doesn't make sense to have money in the heaven. Allah, He promised you to be rich course, as a king. The richness of kings is what? Money, gold, silver, jewelries, mm. power. You know? Okay. So, what does that mean? Yeah, it doesn't make sense having a. It doesn't make sense. So, why you will not leave Islam? Did anything from what we just shared with no, you today? I don't. It makes sense. Anything makes sense. Mm. Does it make sense to kiss black stone? Does it make sense to pray in the direction of a stone? Does it make sense that your prophet he said black stone erase your sin? Do is do stones erase sin for you? Mm. Huh? Do you think it doesn't also make sense if, if you're facing a black stone? It doesn't also make sense when if the Israelites face a, a Jerusalem. Same thing. Uh, no, the the the, the 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 Jews they have a temple and this temple is unique because they, this is their promised land, their promised land. Even the Quran chapter five verse twenty one, but. Uh, uh, and, they, and they are not facing, you know, the the, the, the Jews, like you know, they do. They say if they are praying, uh, they face Jerusalem. But if if not, if they are in the end of the world, they don't have to face Jerusalem because you cannot face Jerusalem. But if they face Jerusalem because they have a temple, and this temple is is, is considered as holy for them, but not because of rocks and not because of stones, it is the temple. Which, this is the promise, even to rebuild Jerusalem again. So if the Jews they do that, we can understand because this this is their history, this is their roots, etc. But here you have a prophet, he make you kiss a stone, and he made you believe that a stone erase your sin. Is that correct? Mm. Okay, why is stone erase a sin? Stone erase. Mm. Do the Jews believe that stone will erase your sin? No. Read carefully with me. But, but it doesn't say stone the razor sin. Allah. Yeah, let me show you. Does that? Okay, let me show you. Here we go. It's in the screen. Surah an Nasai. It was narrated from Abdullah ibn Abayd the Umar blah blah blah. It says that a man said, Oh Abu Badr Abu Abdul Rahman, why do I only see you touching these two corners? What corners? Yeah. The black stone and yeah. the Yemeni corner. He said. I heard the messenger of Allah saying, touching them erases sin. Sins. And whoever circumambulate around them seven times is like a freeing a slave. So if you want to have the blessing, you don't free a slave, just go around the Kaaba seven times. <laughs> it says, and I had him say, I know. I yeah, yeah, that's so. Yeah, yeah. The, the prophet said, "I heard him saying, I, I, the same as you asked me. We, you know, we heard him saying, why? This is why he is practicing that. That touching those two stones erase your sin. Mm. How how the stones touching stones erase your sin? It may, it might, it might hear anything. What? Doesn't, uh, okay, you tell me what this means. It, it, it says touching it them erase your sin. What? Why touching stones? This is a pagan cult. I mean, all always we know that pagans believe that the stones they have a special power and they worship stones. 
and this stone exists before Islam. The Arab used to worship it too. Did you aren't you planning to go and touch the stone so your sin will go? No, um, inshallah, I don't have any sins. No, it makes sense. Okay, so why the prophet he touched the stone and kissed it? Why your prophet kissed the stone? No, he kisses out, out of respect. Oh, uh, so if you respect the stone, you kiss it? No, uh, because of the prophets before him, uh -huh. like Abraham built that. And uh, so, if a prophet before me he pissed in a stone, are we going to kiss it too? No, because because that stone was uh, for the purpose of the house of Allah. What the purpose of it? There is all all the stones in the Kaaba are for the purpose of the house of Allah. Why why that stone make it uh, unique? The and and uh, let the us, little Kaaba. Uh, let us say. Mean, let us uh, say. Okay. Let us say that Allah He sent this stone from heaven. I want you to explain to me this. Who is the one who decided the location of the Kaaba? Location of Kaaba. Uh, Allah. Allah, thank you. Okay, so why Allah He chose a horrible location? Uh, no, that that location is actually the golden uh, point of the earth. You can look this up. Uh, it's like the, the you know the golden, golden ratio. point of something. My friend, the golden ratio. Uh, when you're saying about yeah. the earth, there's nothing. It's called golden ratio when it's come to the earth because all the lines you draw, those are virtual. They are not real. So I can any 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 point in the earth I can make it golden ratio. Now look at this. You said that Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba, correct? Yes. Okay. Why Allah He chose the Kaaba in a place where the sewage always flood and cover the Kaaba? Can't He find a better engineer to choose for Him a higher place? <laughs> no, but uh... no. What? No, no. Tell me. Here we go. The Kaaba <coughs> location is a choose what? choose by Allah. You said that. Everybody heard you. Well, is this picture edited? No. What are they? this is a you know <laughs> go watch <laughs> you know those are oh, actually man. all pictures and until now nothing happened nothing changed the Kaaba there's tons of them look sewage dirty water around the Kaaba the Saudi now they have a lot of money they try their best to to stop the flood to to the, redirect the the flooding water still the Kaaba is flooded so if Allah if Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba, what is this? Imagine I hire an engineering company and I say, choose the best location for my house. And then you choose the lowest point in Mecca where the flood will come and cover you. Cover what? The house of Allah. This is inside the Haram. Look, you Allah the Haram? Do you see the haram? This is the haram. This, this is this is the, the the mosque around the Kaaba. Look, the the people are walking in the water. Do you see it? Hmm. But it, the, the physical thing it doesn't mean anything. It's a meaning no, it behind means, it. Allah no, could have no, blessed no, the no. people. You see, to repair how it. it is, my friend, how it is a holy place chosen by Allah, and yet Allah He cannot choose a good place for it. It means a lot. What do you mean? It doesn't mean anything. Uh, this is God. Don't God knows? Look, the cars are covered by the water. So mm -hmm. how how God he do not know? He could not choose different place. Oh, this big. Anyway, my friend, I cannot really. I'm I'm doing yeah, my yeah. best, but you know, you are being a stubborn. Thank I can't you, tell. brother. Thank you, brother. I, I was just uh, going to ask something, then we went for a debate. Uh, thank you for that. Yeah. No, that no problem. Nice. But you see, uh, uh, I want you after you go, be honest with yourself. Rewatch re this video again. And by the way, uh, if you if you don't find the video again because I don't keep my videos, uh, you can search, yeah, I can, I can. You can search yes. for the same title in YouTube again. Then Jesus, why Jesus not? And be sure that you find you look for the last twenty four hours because there's many videos sometimes yeah, have yeah. the same title. All right. Yes. Uh, uh, so yes. uh, watch it again uh, go over the reference and be honest with yourself and it's up to you what I can do yes thank you uh, brother. If, if I am you I will leave Islam immediately this is a, nothing but a cult very stupid cult what versions what endless penis what one mile ass what uh, what a penis, what a penis will not sleep I mean what Allah this is, this is Allah, 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 Allah doesn't say this
my friend, uh, what kind this? of God, I, I, what kind I, I of God, you don't know this. how the baby is created. What kind of God, you don't even remember which one he created first. What kind of God, he think that the sperm of the uh, women have a sperm coming from her, the location of her necklace, the ribs. What kind of God, he think the men have a, have a sperm coming from the backbone. I mean, come on. It's up to you anyway. Thank you for calling, my friend. If you if you change your mind and you decide to denounce the cult of Islam and the devil of Allah, let me know. You are more than welcome to call me back. All right? All right, bro. Peace, peace to you, brother. Take care, brother. Right. So you will, not, you will not leave uh, Islam? I'll look into this. You will not leave Islam? I'll yet. be honest. No, not yet. Huh? You are not going to decide now. I, to I have Islam? to look into this, brother. I have to look into this. All right, no problem. Inshallah, Allah knows best. All right. Don't say inshallah, Allah, Allah will right. nothing. <laughs> All right, my friend. Take care. All right. Uh, if you wait for Allah to do something, uh, Allah will never do anything. All right. Uh, I think we have enough for today, don't we? All right. Right? Any Muslim decided to leave Islam? You see, they can lie to you about the amazing Quran. The Quran is preserved. It was probably preserved. You know, until now, we are looking for the goat who ate the Quran. Until now. I mean, uh, uh, when Muslims, they speak about things. I find it very embarrassing and how they fabricate things which is absolutely false we have reference from their own authentic source saying that a goat ate the Quran yummy yummy and then the Muslim will say to you the Bible is corrupted brother a guy who came 600 years after a goat who jumped in the top of his bed when he is dead the Quran which was under his pillow which mean the goat obviously she flipped Muhammad from the top of the pillow so like imagine this Muhammad is dead in the bed of Aisha his head is on the pillow under the pillow there's the Quran the goat she jumped in the top of the bed meh, meh, and she flipped Muhammad from the top of the bed Muhammad he fell down in the ground the filthy goat, the enemy of Allah, may Allah curse her and make her shish kebab. She took the Quran from under the pillow and she started chewing the Quran and she chose the best of the Quran, which is breast feeding for adult, which really all men, they love to practice. This is religion? Breast feeding for who? What? For adult. And thank God this verse is gone. Otherwise, you will see a lot of a perverted people entering Islam by waves. The verse of stoning and breastfeeding of adult. Feeding? Guys, I'm hungry. I just remember I did not eat since yesterday. I'm being honest. Forget about breastfeeding now. Don't take me wrong. <laughs> breastfeeding for adult. I mean, what's wrong with this prophet? The most time they say to us, we are very conservative. We make our women cover themselves. So we cannot shake hands with them, but we can suckle their nipples. And we will suckle what? Now, do you think women they have milk always there? They, women, what do you think? You think a woman she is a cow? Even cow she don't have milk always. I think we have a Muslim trying to contact us. All right. Let us see this gentleman here. <coughs> wow. 
my friend you said to me hi why you don't want to call me you don't want to talk to me what hello hello yes how is it christian prince yes we are live on air in youtube everybody hear you what do you want to say to me my friend okay i, I was listening to all these um just checking your references you're giving against my Quran. Mm. Either you are a filthy fat liar or all the Imams since I was a child mm. have been lying to me because okay. Islam I was taught mm. Surah Baqarah at 2 uh, 5 6 says like Rafidin there is no compulsion in, in religion. Okay. And then Another surah, for instance, says um, Surah Kafirun at six means your religion is yours, mine is mine. Mm. And it's meant to be a peaceful religion, but you are just throwing too many things. I can't even, you know, search for her. Okay. Where, where do you get these things let us, from? Let us, it's in my head, my friend. I'm a walking library. Let us go one by one. You said Islam means peace, correct? Yes. All right. Well, isn't it the Quran in chapter 9, verse number 29? Order the Muslims to fight and to kill all the Christians. Either they pay the jizya and they no. convert or they die. If it's in the time of war, I wouldn't uh, worry about hold it. Hold on, my friend. But my friend, hold it's on. It's not. Uh, okay, and yes. the, in the time of war, but the Christian did not wage war on you. It's you waging war. Read with me carefully. This is your Quran. And I can open okay. for you any translation you wish. Which translation you like most? It doesn't really matter as, as far as it's translated. Okay, Muhammad Yusuf Ali, I'm Muslim. I'm not going to use any translation. But the, because the, the problem is, you're, you're, you're showing another translation. They all contradict each other. I don't know who to listen to. Okay, that's why I'm asking you which translation you like. Uh, go to Al Jalalin. Al Jalalin is, Al -Jalalain more is a translation. Al Jalalin is tafsir. The Jalalain is yeah, Tafsir. Okay. Tafsir oh, Jalalain. All right. So we will go to a Tafsir al Jalalain. Or to be of Ibn Kathir. Or no or problem. No problem. Let us go to a, okay, Ibn Kathir. You want Ibn Kathir? Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Ibn, Ibn Kathir, please. Ibn Kathir. Okay, Ibn Kathir. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Give me a second. It's, it's all right. shocking. It's not, it's, it can't be true. All right. We will see if it's true, my friend. And as you said, either I'm a filthy liar or they are filthy liars. <laughs> One of us have to be. All right. So this is Ibn Kathir. I will show it to you in the screen. And remember, okay. this is your choice, not my choice. You wanted the Jalalain. I said, okay, I will show you Jalalain. You said Ibn Kathir. I will show you Jalalain. Whatever you want. This is Ibn Kathir. You see? It says Ibn Kathir. You see my screen? Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> this is Ibn Kathir. And let us zoom out so you can see better. And read better. Fight, fight those who okay, no, believe not see, in it. Let us go to verse number nine because this is many. Here he's explaining uh, etc. You, you speak Arabic, I'm assuming, do you? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And then we can even read in Arabic. But let us go in our English now. Uh, fight against those who believe not uh, in Allah, nor the last days, nor what is forbidden, which is forbidden by Allah and His Messenger. And those who acknowledge not the religion of the truth from the people of the scriptures. Okay, why he want to fight them? Because they don't acknowledge the following things. The last day of Islam, what is forbidden by Islam, and the message of Islam. Do I agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the reason to kill them? Because they don't acknowledge. And I think the verses are clear. Now let's read Ibn Kathir. Until they pay the jizya with willing and submission and feel themselves subdued. And read carefully, Ibn Kathir now is making his commentary. Saying, Subdued. Sub Where does it say that? Like, here we go. This is what the Quran is saying. You, you, you speak Arabic, right? It says, Sagirun, yes. Sagirun, Sagirun means subdued, humiliated. Sagirun. Okay. Little, little, therefore, yeah. <laughs> therefore, this is Ibn Kathir talking now, not the Quran. Therefore, when people of the scriptures disbelieved in Muhammad and they had no beneficial faith in any messenger or what the messenger brought, Rather than follow their own their religion, because this is uh, 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 confront with their ideas, lost, and the ways of their uh, 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 forefather, not because they are 
Allah law religion they had been true believers in their religion that faith would be have directed uh, them to believe in Muhammad so because they are not to believe in Muhammad obviously they are liars correct and then he says because all the people gave the good news to Muhammad etc blah 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 they believe in Muhammad and look here what he said that's harsh their religion these religions oh. came from Allah but because this is sweet their desire and lust therefore their claimed faith is earlier uh, an earlier prophet will not benefit them because they disbelieved in the master and uh, uh, the most of the last and the most the perfect of the prophet hence Allah statement so because they did not believe in Muhammad it's not because they are fighting Muhammad I think that the proof is clear correct because mm -hmm. of that look what it says fight against those who believe not in Allah nor the last etc to the end of the verse and then it says this honorable ayah was revealed with the order to fight the people of the book after the pagan were defeated so Muhammad now he killed all the enemy who's left he killed the Jews he killed the you know he killed the, the, the Arab now it's time to finish those Christians and Jews so uh, the people enter into Allah religion in large numbers so Muhammad now have a big army because people are scared terrified and the Arabian Peninsula was secure under Muslim control Allah commanded his messenger to fight the people of the scriptures Jews and the Christians on the ninth year ninth years of the Hijra he prepared an army to fight the Roman <laughs> it's not the Roman who fighted him he sent a letter to the Roman saying convert or die now, uh, you say to which me, "What battle are you specifically referring to?" What? Which battle? It doesn't matter. He decided this is a book. Supposedly, Muhammad he went to the book, but he could not make it because uh, uh, he could not get in. You know, uh, um, like uh, he was hoping to be able to attack, but looked like they were ready for him, so he was not able to attack. And he came back after waiting for for uh, for some time in Tabuk. But then, as you see here. You said to me, Islam teaching you that uh, you have your religion, I have mine, there's no conclusion in religion, blah. So this is in the beginning, you see, what you know, you speak Arabic and you should know better, that in Islam there is something that's called abrogation. Yeah, Nasr When, Mansur, when yes. Muhammad, he was weak, he said, okay, you have your religion, I have my religion. Because he cannot force them. But, but as you see here... But, and I, I, a verse could be easily abrogated by... Uh, it's um, diviner, uh, which is Allah. No problem, no problem. But there's no so, problem with that. Okay, but no you problem. Keep, but you keep, but you keep insulting you Islam by me? saying it's why, a cult. Hold on, it's why, why cult. you are quoting for let me? Let me translate a cult for you, my let, friend. Let my me friend. tell you just, what just cult wait, is, just my wait. friend. Wait, wait. Why you are quoting for me a verse which is abrogated? It's not valid because Al Kafir okay, Al Kafir and the other verse is not valid. It's abrogated by the chapter of Atoba. Cult is a system. Cult is a system which is directly. Personally directed towards somebody towards someone a personal figure. Yes. Okay. Mm. So if you if you give me a verse, mm. okay, any verse mm. Been abrogated by um, Allah, it's no problem, but you can never find a verse Been abrogated by Muhammad himself. Oh, no, you are wrong. I can find you tons no, you cannot find me a single okay. one. You're okay. just making it up, just throwing, throwing too many things. People cannot pick okay. it up. Okay, okay. Let us finish this one, and I promise you I will go right away, and I will show you the verses which Muhammad abrogated. But let us agree that what you said about peace, is, is it was not, I'm, I'm not going to say you are lying. I will say it was not true. Read carefully. Here it says, The Messenger of Allah marched, heading toward Asham to fight the Roman and the Rijish Tabuk. Uh, where he set a camp, etc., for etc., so he could not, you know, he could not do it. He came back, and the condition until they pay the jizya, if they do not choose to embrace Islam. So why we have to pay jizya? Because die or pay, and with willing submission well, in the everybody's paying jizya. What's the, what's wrong with that? No, no, you no, 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 America, no, you no, pay no, taxes. no, no, no. This is our land. How we pay land? Our uh, the, the American occupy Iraq. They will force them to pay jizya because the American occupy them to protect them from the American. It's what your prophet saying and look what he says it says in the verse and feel, feel themselves subdued disgraced humiliated uh, uh, like etc therefore the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the dhimma or elevate them above the Muslims for they are miserable disgraced 
humiliated. Muslim reported that Abu Huraira, Allah the Prophet said, don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians, and if you meet any of them in the road, force them to the narrowest alley, which means the sewage. This is why the leader of the faithful, Omar al-Khattab, may Allah pleased with him, demand his will, no, his will known conditions, to be met by the Christians. These conditions that ensured their continued humiliation, disgrace, etc. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. So you are saying to me that Islam says you have your religion, I have mine. Those people, they have no guilt except they are Christians. And now you want to humiliate them because they refuse Islam. This is their crime. That's not what I was taught. But I'm showing you the proof and you are the one who asked me to read the because here. Obviously, I'm working and living in a Christian country. Okay, my friend. And I'm dealing okay. and working with Christians and no Jews. Problem. They respect me so much. No problem. I'm not saying anything. I'm not I saying can't I'm not, my friend. Use this verse against them. My friend, I'm not talking about you. This is not about you or me. You might be a wonderful person, but this is not about you and me. This is religion. So you said to me, read Ibn Kathir. I I quoted for you life on on air. What you choose, correct? It was your choice. So obviously, Islam is not what some Muslims they think. You are a Muslim, but you've been taught that uh, the Prophet says you have my religion, you have yours. This one when he was weak, it's abrogated. Now we prove to you that the first thing you say to us about Islam, give a freedom of a choice. That is a big fat lie they told you. Even the Prophet of Islam, he says, I've been ordered to fight all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and no Prophet but Muhammad. And if they do so, only if they do so. I will stop killing them and shedding their blood and here we go all those hadith are sahih and they are accurate you have you have not only not only you have to say the shahada you have to pray as we pray you have to fast as we fast you have to face the qibla you have to pay the zakat is it a hadith and, then, and this, did, is hadith. this is this is sahih this is sahih it doesn't matter hadith or not this is sahih yeah no, so did you say it's hadith or, or Quran? My friend, this is hadith and sahih, but it okay. is in total agreement with could chapter you, 9, verse 29. No. Could you show on the screen, please? I'm showing it on screen. You don't see it? It's not coming up. Okay, well, maybe you need to refresh your page. Let me refresh it. One second. Right. I have been ordered to fight the people till they say man has the right to be worshipped, but Allah and if they say so, pray like our prayers face our Qibla and slaughter as we slaughter. Then their blood and property will be sacred to us and we will not interfere with them except legally. And the reckoning will be with Allah. Hmm. So, what does that mean? Uh, what's the Sahih number 392? Sahih al Bukhari 392. I go, go sunnah.com. Let me check. Sorry, I need to check. I don't trust anyone anymore. No Bukhari, right. Yeah. So that means, so this, if this is true, mm. it abrogates I have 256 Surah Baqarah and Surah Kafirun. And the chapter at Tawbah abrogate everything because Quran is more powerful, right? So the Quran and the Hadith here confirm that what you said to me in the beginning, it was not really accurate. And this is the truth. But tell me one thing. If, is it anywhere in the Quran backing up the hadith? We keep taking the hadith for granted. No, I just I just showed you the Quran first and now I'll show you the hadith. I did not show you the hadith first and the Quran second. Does so the any hadith, ayat, any verse in the Quran saying you must listen to hadith. Oh yeah, there's tons of them. Because the, the show, Quran show okay, me one. Okay, hold on. The Quran says 
whatever the prophet if Quran doesn't him, back up the hadith the hadith can no, go no invalid problem. yeah no problem let me show you I will show you tons of reference all right chapter 59 verse number seven whatever the prophet he gave you you take it so you take what the messenger assigned to you whatever he says to you you take it it is an order <coughs> You see it? Yeah, yeah. I Chapter see. fifty-nine, verse number seven. Let us see more. There's many. There's too many. All right. And the Quran says too that whoever, uh, whoever uh, obey Allah, uh, the messenger, he obey Allah. All right. Read with me carefully, please. And you will see chapter 4 verse number 80 he who obey the messenger obey Allah he who obeys messenger hmm. correct let me check I got Talal Itani Quran. Let me check how he is. It's obviously all against each other. You can't. You, you don't know who who to listen to. No, it's uh, it says confirming he, that you have to obey Muhammad first, because obeying Muhammad is obeying Allah. So which means Muhammad. That, that's is wrong. That's that's no no good. I don't I don't obey. Uh, a person rather than God. No, friends, not up to you. This is your Quran. You are a Muslim. You have to obey. Um, it's uh, eighty, is it? Eighty. What? Uh, what yep. do you want my help? So, you, uh, did we confirm this one? No, no, no. I, I, I can't deny this. Okay. So, if was Muhammad a god? He's a perfect god. He's a god, or he is he's a human like us? Uh, should he should have been a human? Okay. And do, because do he human, clearly saying Abdu Abdu Rasul. Okay. Do human do error and mistakes and commit sin? Was Muhammad of a course. sinner? Was Muhammad a sinner? Yes, he okay. was okay. The Quran confirmed that too. Thank you. I make it easy for me. So now, how you can obey a sinner and by obeying the sinner, me or you? No, or you can obey. You can not, never obey a sinner. Okay, so it says here he obey the messenger, obey Allah. To assume, I wouldn't. To assume that I, I can I don't, obey. I don't Muhammad. allow my children to kiss my hands either. I don't like my friend, people. Not, you see, I'm talking about you or me. With my respect to you, I'm talking about. This is what the Quran is saying. In order to obey Allah, you obey Muhammad first. And this is not my translation. And you speak Arabic. Huh? Okay, so it's clear. So you have to obey Muhammad. Now, you said to me, when we were talking about Ibn Kathir and killing Christians, you said to me, there's no single verse in the Quran was abrogated by Muhammad, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what about the muta? Muta. Um, well, I've, I've read this briefing about muta. Muta was allowed in Quran. Okay, chapter four. The and same Muhammad chapter, allowed it too. The same chapter we are uh, reading from, chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Okay. And do you practice muta today? No. Why? Because my wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> this is not the question. This is not because of. No, I don't. I don't believe. Muta is 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 not. Uh, no, it's filthy. It's like 
Okay, to so me, I, what so, sounds like a prostitution okay, business. Okay, thank you. I respect your your honesty. You agree that this is a prostitution. So why Allah allowed the muta? Because, because muta is ujra. It's for uh, you pay money for it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Muta, it's not a free service. It's it's you exactly. pay somebody to have sex. Exactly. This is what muta means. Exactly. Actually, even Muslim scholars agree that this is about renting a woman musta'jara. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So why Allah he allow you? You just said it's prostitution. Why uh, Allah he allow you to rent women? Uh, all, all I'm, all I have been trying to do all these years in my life, um, asking these verses, but I just, you know, convincing myself they're probably a different time of life. Mm. Okay, but let us go different back. Needs, no problem. But. But no, as you see, why did Musa allow people to do muta before Muhammad? Muhammad uh, Musa is a lot older. Did Jesus allow muta? No, I mean that's not a, that's not a reason. I mean, if if we want to find reason, we can find reason for anything. Like you might say to a man who was a rapist, why you rape this woman? Oh, she was wearing short skirt. <laughs> but that would not change the fact that you are a rapist, correct? If you ask no, him, he's, he wanna he, he's a thief. Why you stole? Oh, uh, this guy he have a lot of money, but still you are a thief. You know, this is not excuse. Look what it says right. here. This is your Muslim website and those audio scholars saying that Muslim women, when she have the contract of muta, in some works, a special terms applied. Women who practice muta, musta ajara, or rented women, muta is considered as a kind of rental because, in general, a man basic aim of this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women and in the return of his enjoyment of the women he pay money as you say all right so you agree the scholars of the muslim agree that this is a rental now was the muta abrogated by allah yes where should have been because the Sunni is not doing it anymore. Only no the problem. Shia. No um, problem. Okay, but I'm asking people, you. People, people stop doing it. Shia is doing it in Yemen friend, and Iran. You remember, my friend, you said to me, "Show me where Muhammad he abrogated the muta." This is in the Hadith. You said to me, mm -hmm. "Show me where the Hadith abrogated the Quran." The Hadith abrogated the Quran. Here we go. We go to the Hadith. If if this is correct, hmm. it. it goes into a form of cult because a personal cult not even a cult a personal very very personal cult because a man cannot bypass a god's order all right simple as that well you see when you call me in the beginning you said why you but show me the hadith please okay no problem when you when you uh, when you call me in the beginning you said to me why you keep insulting islam saying that islam uh, let me find uh, some hadith okay yeah we need to to prove it not just uh, i never saying I never, cult you know you are watching for long i think already and you, you noticed that i never said something without proof and i'm doing the same with you the same as i do with everybody so nothing it's nothing uh, new all right let's see uh it's uh, let us uh, find one of the hadith there's tons of them but we will find the most authentic ones All right, Sahih Muslim or Sahih Bukhari, whatever you wish. Uh, let us go with this one right in the top. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 1406. You see it? The page? Mm -hmm. All right. The Messenger of Allah said, O oh people, I had permitted you to contract muta with women, but Allah forbid it now until the day of resurrection. <laughs> Where he forbid it? There's no Quran. Muhammad is uh, Muhammad is Allah. Remember this verse. Muhammad is Allah. Abrogate muta. There is no verse abrogating uh, muta. This is hadith. Only yes, hadith. yes. I I have my friend. Two years ago, I have confronted. An imam, a very, very big imam in 
in London, okay? Mm. And he, he gave Surah Nur Ayat 33. He said that um, that action, that um, mut'a was abrogated in the Quran. Where? Before Muhammad. Where? Surah Nur, Surah Al Nur Ayat 33. Okay. And Nur, we will go to An Nur. All right. Here we go, 24. 33? Yes, okay. he, he told me a story about uh, yeah, that's Abdullah false. Saluli. That's, that's, uh, that's false, my friend. There's nothing here have to do with the muta. This is about wearing, covering their clothes. What does have to do with the muta? That's false. And you will not find anyone even agree with this. Surah Al Nur, Ayat 33. 33. Okay, 33. Yes. All right, sorry. Okay. So, how this is ab abrogating the muta? Actually, this verse alone should make you leave Islam. This verse legalize prostitution. No. Yeah. Well, read with me. One second. Read with me carefully. It says, "But force not your slaves for prostitution, when they yeah, desire chastity, in order that you make a gain in the goods which may make money of this life. But if yeah. any of you compels them, yet after that." Allah is all merciful and forgiving. So, uh, what the Quran is saying, and I think you speak Arabic, you it's, speak English, so it's very clear it's, that um, if they agree with you, if they agree with you, you can do prostitution. Force them not. Force them not to do prostitution. He did not say prostitution is forbidden. Force them not. Huh? لا تكرهوا فتياتكم البغاء إن أردنا تحصنا force them not okay so if they agree it's okay and if you force them Allah is all merciful anyway <laughs> and we're here we're in this verse is saying that you know a muta is uh, is uh, is abrogated by this verse there's nobody there's no Muslim in the world believe in this If Allah is Rafur Rahim for who? For it the... doesn't matter. There's no penalty, there's no punishment, and, and prostitution is allowed. Another example. Another example. Allah He sent down 10 verses for breastfeeding. You mean uh, breast breastfeeding, like for men? Kids. For men? No, for men. Would you breastfeeding for what? For men. Allah He allowed men. Muslim women to give their breast to a strange man to suckle them ten times. What in the Quran? My friend, this is in the Quran. Yeah, this is, was in the Quran, but it's not in the Quran no more. And the wife of Muhammad, she used to order uh, any woman, anyone, any man who want to enter upon Aisha to suckle the nieces or the sisters of Aisha. Read with me carefully. Yahya related to me from Malik, from etc., from, 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 that Aisha, the mother of the believer, sent him away while he was being nursed to her sister, Umm Kathum, been to Abi Bakr, a Saddiq. And he said, suckle him ten times so that can come to see me. <laughs> okay. I want to ask you, where is this chapter? Where is this verse in the Quran now? No, you can't see anything in like, like that in the Quran. Okay, where it is? I don't know. You tell me. I will tell you, no problem. If it's nowhere, if it's not in the Quran, it doesn't exist. No, it exists. But what happened, a god did eat it. So we can say in this case, it's not really Muhammad who abrogated this. It was the goat. Read with me carefully. The verse of stoning to death and breast stoning and breastfeeding for adult ten times was revealed, and the paper was with me under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a tame sheep came and ate it. Down there it says, these verses were abrogated in recitation, but not in ruling. <laughs> How you can abrogate something in recitation? I mean, this is funny. <laughs> this is shocking, not funny. Or, well, for me, it's funny. It's stupid, too. 
stone and breastfeeding, not just one. Yeah. But this meant to be memorized, okay? No, it's not. That was the time no, when the Quran was the not Quran, written. My friend, all the Quran at that time was memorized anyway. So when you say meant to be, did Allah say to you which one you memorize, which one you write down? No. He gave you Quran, and then later, uh, uh, Uthman, he decided what to write down. And as you see, even the goat ate what is written. It was not meant to be memorized. It's written, and it was under the pillow of Aisha, which is the pillow of Muhammad. So it's meant to be written. This is why the goat ate it. Otherwise, if it's only memorized, well, the goat will not be able to eat something memorized. Don't know what to say to honest. Um, I'm gonna have to go to the mosque tomorrow evening and in front of everybody confronting these imams because they okay, each translation contradicts the other. They are, I, I don't understand why should I lie about my God if if you can challenge my God, I don't need this God. If a Christian prince, an Arab from nowhere, could Challenge my God. I don't need this God. Okay, well, my God, my writing, my God's book, the Quran, should challenge billions of Christian prints. Well, but he cannot. Why these people lie about it? I don't understand. Like you remember when you called me, you said to me, "You are lying about Islam." No, I didn't say that. I said you either a fat liar, as you uh -huh. you keep. Repeat on yourself, yeah, or but you are assuming they, that I'm uh, lying, obviously, right? You were assuming I have, not. I've been in Islam since the age of five, since I literally remember, mm. and about 40 years of my life I've been praying to Allah, okay. And you, I, as I talk, believe me, my, my hand is shaking, it's it's very hard to talk about this, to question this book. It's been so holy to me, you know, it's like somebody skinning me alive. Very hard. Well, I understand, my friend. But as you see, we are not lying to you, and I'm showing you everything, right in the front of your eyes. No, no. Obviously, I'm I'm writing all these references, and we'll we'll confront these uh, mullahs because they are blind to people. He told me that at thirty-three, Surah An Nur abrogated that mut'a. But it was well. Obviously, it was my fault. I didn't. Secondly, thoroughly, uh, secondly, chase you that. said that al muta is prostitution. What kind of god he allow prostitution? Well, not is, is is more than prostitution. Yeah. So, what the point no. of allowing prostitution? I mean, a man he wanna have sex, go and get married. Muta, no, no, muta was not for money. Prostitution these days is for money. Some some prostitutes um, muta take for money. And you are the one who said that. You said but, to me. Prostitute at the time was for a kilo of grain or rice. It's the same, same. If, you, if, if that you, was true, my friend, as it's the same. If you give somebody a return for sleeping with you, and that is prostitution. You know, it can uh, be from God. Product, this, this product, and uh, a reward can be changed. Like maybe today you can send the pay by credit card, but that will not change the fact that it's money, right? Yeah, yeah, if a woman she, she sleep with you because you, you for, if a woman money for sex sleep, is very bad. It's if a woman good. she sleep with you because you bought her uh, a gift, whatever. This is um, uh, this is prostitution. You know, it's it's product. It's a uh, it, obviously it says I showed you even the Islamic reference saying that this is a uh, uh, renting a woman, renting a woman uh, for the exchange of sexual pleasure. That's why it's called muta. Muta means uh, pleasure, correct? But how could um, let's say let let's uh, I admit this one. Um, how could Muhammad know about all these facts about the universe? Like what? And this I had thirty in Surah and Biya. He he talks about the Big Bang, how the Earth was um, okay um, created. I think it's Surah and Biya. I, I had know, thirty. I you don't need to tell me. Don't worry about it. This is why I'm a Christian prince, my friend. Okay. If we go to the verse, it's chapter two. We will find the following. Chapter 21, verse number 30. <coughs> 
right away you will see in the beginning that there is something silly and stupid in the verse read with me the first line please can you read for me yeah okay what it says do not the unbelievers see hmm. that the could earth... you turn to the Arabic one please no problem here we go mm -hmm. to the Arabic Oh, let me or let in a cafe when a summer or other kind of conf of the moment. Did you notice with me? What is a stupid mistake there? You are the one saying yes, to me, it's a mistake. Yara can't be Yara because right. you can't Thank see you what happened. You are back a smart there person. Thank you. Here we go. Guys, how, how this is a scientific discovery, and he is saying, Don't they see Yara? Okay, mm. so what he's talking mm. about, they are talking about that the Arab at that time uh, believe uh, that Allah he raised the sky up. It was together and he raised them up. Where is the Big Bang? It says that the earth and the sky were joined together, which means there was earth and there was a sky. This is not what the Big Bang is saying. I don't believe in the Big Bang, by the way, but I'm going with you. So if there is earth, there is a sky, or what we did, we split them. But this is this is not true. But and big Big Bang is not the fact. Big Bang is the most is a theory um it is a theory most well no it is a theory plausible a theory you can say uh, well yes. it, it's uh, this is up to you but anyway the quran did not only hear him make a mistake secondly if you read uh the this the chapter you choose it says and we had set on the earth mountain standing firm so it should not shake on them the fact is the mountains are not set on the top of the earth the mountains are coming down from the deep earth when the tectonic plates they meet each other the yeah, mountain is a product of, of volcanoes volcanoes or tectonic plate like when, when there's tectonic layers yeah. erupt okay so but here yeah. here is saying the opposite all the lovers allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth so it's not going to shake on us so the quran is described 31 earth. huh did we say 30 or 31 we are reading second, both sorry. 30 and 31 so the first one is wrong secondly and we will explain to you how he claimed that the, the first one how it worked so now he Allah he left up huh, the sky and later we'll show you in different verse he made it a roof and here he's saying that Allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth do you believe in this is that accurate or this is false mm, scientifically this is uh, doesn't make sense to me okay but you are the one who chose this chapter for me but, not me but I didn't say 31, it said 30. No problem, so 30 and 31, they can no each other. If this is a mistake, we have set on, on the earth, yeah. mountains standing firm. Hmm. And the purpose what? They will not shake on us. Japan is a country have between an average of 800 to 2,000 earthquake a day. And it's all of it is mountains. Actually, the reason they have mountains is because there's earthquakes and volcanoes and etc. So, here, Muhammad he exposed his his fabrication. Now, read with me carefully. And we made the heavens as a canopy, well guarded. Is that the atmosphere? No, I'm I'm, I'm shocked now. Well, is is that that was I heard Muslims saying that this is the atmosphere? Yes, they are right because the translation they get, I'm afraid, and. In other languages like yeah, English, yeah. so does it, sound, does it sound like this is the atmosphere? No, what the Quran is speaking of that shaitan he try to spy at Allah and Allah will shoot the shaitan by a star. Is that correct? Yes, all right. Do you really believe in this? That the stars. Mm -hmm. Are made to shoot Shaitan in his ass if he try to spy. And we have guarded it. What is the heaven? Allah claiming that only the lowest heaven have stars. And this is where some Muslims they lie and they say that this is speaking about the atmosphere. But if this is the atmosphere, it's mean only in the atmosphere we have stars. So we have created the uh, the, the stars and we made them only in the in, in the lowest heaven, as to beautify. 
the uh, for the beholder and the top of that and we have guarded it which mean what the near heaven with from every outcast shaitan okay how he cast how, how he cast shaitan out except him the devil that gain hearing by stealing he is pursued by a clear flaming fire do you believe in this um. how Allah shoot shaitan Muhammad he captured the shaitan he tied him in, up in the column of the of the mosque so such a small uh, tiny creature Allah he will shoot a star to do what so would you would you get this translation from who care you speak Arabic uh, you can change translation chapter 15 verse number 18 17 16 you can read in Arabic even the, even the English ones have different everyone translated in because they lie because simply many of them what they do yeah that's that's them. what what may, makes me very angry about it yeah they, they lie in order to make you like seven people I cover. feel sorry for those um, innocent Muslim coming here and swearing at people but the but remember, the book remember, has been remember you said to separate. me either you are a big fat liar so you were not far away from them just uh, 15 minutes ago you thought i am a fat liar you yourself yeah, yeah. Hmm. so what do you think is that from god or this is stupid and then here he says and the earth was spread out well is the earth spread out no. like a carpet I don't know what is your education. What is the where is the geoscience? Where is the, uh, this? Is my field? This is your field. That's I wonderful. Studied geoscience. Okay, yes. geos that's wonderful. Okay, where is the where is the hail is coming from? Because uh, listen, um, the beginning elements were hydrogen. Okay, hmm. so Surat Anbiya. I'm I'm thinking of if if God meant. He separated Earth from the skies. Mm. If he meant the Big Bang, let's say, doesn't even make sense either. Because um, the Earth is is very very young compared to the beginning of the universe. Okay, because the the primary elements like hydrogen was mm. at the beginning of the universe. But Earth is containing iron, which takes billions of years okay. to appear. Okay, so you can't stick a plastic to a gold. They don't stick together. They are different. You see, I am. I am not. Uh, but I'm. I'm try I will. I will chase these verses. Um, okay. As long as long this is your, your this is your science and this is your study. I want to ask you, where is where is hail coming from? Hail, hail, yeah, hail. The, the hail, hail is 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 a water, okay? Water uh, affected by the uh, Arctic wind, very cold Arctic wind, and they became hail. That's that's, okay. that's how it's made. So you don't think it's coming from mountains, and Allah He break hail from those mountains? Mountains, yeah. What do you mean? Mountains, mountains like in the sky, there's mountains, and Allah He break with the hammer, hail, and He throw it at us. What well, is it in the Quran? I'm just asking you now before we talk about from where do you believe? No, I don't, I, even if, if, I, if I say that myself, I wouldn't believe it, I wouldn't take it for granted. Okay, but if we find it, hail is coming from the sky, it's the vaporization of, of our oceans. Okay, right. in a dense cloud, they they become hail snow or rain all right so if i find it for you from the quran are you willing to leave islam um i can't decide now because i need to lots of things to chase it doesn't matter but, if, uh, if this one is a lie i mean the rest is a lie i mean you just say this is impossible this no, is i'm not i'm not um, i'm not hypocritic um I, I i don't deny any mistakes if i do okay. a mistake i but put if, my hands if up the quran, if my if the father quran, do mistake if the quran then... is unvaried no more islam is gone 
Chapter 24, you are the one if who this, asked me. All the, if these are true, my friend, yes, okay. I, I you will denounce listen. Islam. All right, that's wonderful. Guys, he said he promised he would denounce Islam. The same chapter, you are the one who asked me to go to the chapter of Anur before, chapter 24, verse number 43. You can read in Arabic, you can read in English, in any war, any language you want. In English, they try to fabricate and to change the meaning, but I will show it to you in Arabic. And as long as you speak Arabic, me and you, we will get better understanding. It says mm -hmm. here, Does it say that or I'm lying? Yes, very clear. All right. You promised you will denounce Islam. Hail is coming from mountains in heaven. I mean, even cartoon, they don't do that. And look here in the first translation. I want you to confirm this with me. I believe somebody mixed uh, somebody mixed these things into Quran when they uh, written. My friend, my friend, there is nothing called the book. Mixed. Either it's this is from God. Either this is so. This is not a book of God. And look what, here. As long as you speak Arabic, why the Muslims they lie and they say like mountains? Does it say like mountains in the Arabic? No. The, the, Anything between these two brackets uh, don't so they just are trying, don't, they are trying, they are trying to cover yeah. to cover up. So look, they send down from the sky from mountains, from mountains, which is in heaven, hail. No, it doesn't make sense. So they fabricate the translation in order to cover the stupidity. Whoever wrote this book is is a foolish you have you know this is maybe work for yeah. people who don't. Whoever, whoever whoever this bit this part here whoever written didn't have a clue about anything in the sky but okay. what's going on in the sky assuming that the one who did this is Allah Allah have no clue what about this I don't believe I don't believe this is from a God look at no. this Allah he created the three kind of creatures because one of the one of the um principles of being a god is do not afford any mistakes mm. what makes me different from god is i am doing mistakes i do a lot of mistakes but god should be a little bit different from me no mistakes well my friend from the first page of the quran to the last page i can show you endless mistakes i'm not showing you really mistakes i'm i'm just showing you a chapter you, you choose yourself to prove to me islam to be true so islam is the most silly cult and now you understand why i am saying it's a cult you said you said why i'm calling islam as a cult now you promise me if i show you this and this will be true you will leave islam correct yes are you willing to keep your promise yes so are you denouncing islam if, if this is all true we heard islam is a cult so you agree islam is a cult yes thank you very much because a go an order from God, okay, could never be bypassed by any man. That's one. Never. Thought. I'm really happy for you. Because if if that happens, God loses its status as God. You can call it something else. Mm. Okay. If a president, if for example a Trump, if Trump makes an order, let's say Iranian is not allowed to enter the USA, and an officer. A police officer in the airport say, "No, forget about Trump. I'm in charge here. He's going to go to prison, or Trump loses his status." So now compare that to God, Almighty God. It doesn't make a sense, my friend. Absolutely. Hypocrisy no. is not in my mind. I listen to reality. I listen to proof, evidence. But you know, you as a as a person who, like today, after this moment, you are a Muslim. I cannot call you a Muslim no more. But I want to ask you, when the Muslims, they say there is science in the Quran, and etc., why they lie? Why they fabricate things? So I was going to ask you this question. Why this, they either make money, because they, there are lots of books. Um, in London, you go too many libraries, Islamic libraries. They sell in billions of dollars a year on books they get in from probably the arab countries um 
for printing these books because the books are obviously very very expensive yeah they all laminated nice colored you know and pictures it, it, and you for reading it, it, it and, cost 50 dollars each and they insert, but they sell them for cheap they insert articles about scientists or sometimes sometimes fake scientists and sometimes real scientists just to fool people saying quran match with science no, you don't have to do that. No Muslims, if any Muslim is listening to me, if if anybody, any Muslim brothers or sisters trying to do that is fooling themselves because my God should be able to challenge somebody like me or Christian Prince, who is this guy? Who is Christian Prince? How could he easily come and challenge my God with evidence? Is that what make you angry? Because I was like a whole yes. Christian prince. <laughs> what makes me angry is people fabricating to the facts. That yeah, I never fabricate. You see, this is why I go live and I say, people, you can call me and you can question and you overcome. I never, I never, uh, I never. Everything I say, I show in the screen. Everything, every single word. It's it's my fault because. Um, um, I should have. I did, I did have a chance to chase the facts, but I just kept it, you know, under the blanket, as we say. So, my friend, I am a Christian, as you know, and I take the opportunity to invite you to accept the Messiah as your Savior. You left Islam. That's wonderful. For me, I'm not done to save you yet. I did the half of the job. And I would love to invite you to accept the what, Messiah as what your Lord. would you recommend me to read? Because I'm gonna again like Islam. I'm not gonna just take Islam like another religion like that. No, no I will read no, about it. No, absolutely. Not. Okay. No, you can and read. If, you can read. If Christianity does make a sense to me, yes, I will call call you back in a month time probably. All right. And we will have a chat. All right. If okay. not, I can still come back and. I, telling you about you know arguing christianity as well because i don't i'm not scared to talk about christianity if even if if i know 100 percent is from god no, neither we are we, this is why we are god <laughs> should challenge all all of us yeah you are welcome my friend anyway god's take, word take should be like a read, atomic bomb read the, nobody could read the, read face the, it the, read the four gospels you know of of, uh, of christ and you know try to when you read Try to like uh, you see. Uh, I'm sure you are smart. What's and this uh, uh, um, story behind the Old Testament and New Testament? What is the problem? There's not. There's no story. It's the Old Testament. It's simply the Old Testament is a book about God and history in the same time. The history of the Jews with God. Right. As simple as that. So the Jews, uh, uh, the Old Testament is a book of books. It's not one book, and this book contain their history with people around them and their history with God how this they disobey him sometime how they obey him sometime how God he uh, he was uh, uh, he, he you know how they forsake their God sometime so the Old Testament mostly is kind of a, a collection of many many stories about what happened to the Jews and the prophets uh, of the Jews the New Testament is about Christ and what he accomplished in this earth when he came to us and this is why so I say, if you if somebody you, like me, where where should the, the New Testament, the start. New Testament, because the, the the Old Testament for me you, is just to increase my knowledge about history of man with God, but the New Testament. So why they say it's been uh, corrupted? Um, who says that? The Muslims. I've, well, I I heard uh, I heard from uh, too many imams. Uh, the Bible, oh, it's is corrupted. Is you see the imams this is the problem is the imams are they are you remember when you call me says either you are a big fat liar the imam are the big fat liar i will show you something from the quran and you tell me what you you translate to us uh, let me open the quran all right this is the quran i will put it in the screen <laughs> 
وات مصدقا لما معهم مين confirming what is with them correct need to refresh and when we can do and when they came to them somebody saying that you are crying are you crying my friend Okay. If I am crying, I, I would cry for myself. I would cry for all. Yeah, I'm saying. So, so I mean, yeah, there's not nothing wrong with the crying from from. Chasing uh, a rainbow. Yeah. I'm crying for my childhood. I'm crying for my youth. <laughs> oh, you are crying then. Okay, I understand. That that you know, let you cry and let uh, the tears wash the anger. Nothing wrong with the crying. But I, I haven't, I haven't killed anybody for my faith. I understand. Yeah. I was always showing a right, you know, the beautiful face of Islam. Uh, I didn't know all about all this. Well, I'm happy for you, my today, my friend, my friend. You called me, and I'm glad that you, you know, uh, you were able to call and uh, crying. You know, uh, great men they cry. And David, he cried. Today. We cry always, you know, and cry can wash our sin. That's wonderful. Don't worry about it. So do you see? They said, they said to you that the Bible is corrupt, but the Quran says, and this is the Muslim translation, which is strange that this translator here is not being a hypocrite too much. It says, confirming what is with them, the Jews, which is the Torah, and the Injil, which is the Christian, the Gospel. Mm -hmm. So how they lie, and why? The Quran saying confirming what is with them, with them now. Yeah, I see. They lie to you, my friend. They are a bunch of liars. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to put uh, too much pressure on you. I can tell you are crying, and uh, uh, we are, you know, all the Christians there, they are praying for you. Well, thank you very much for all this. Um, i written everything. I will have a chat with some men. Well, what you about know, if they know, have. Um, what about you challenge them to come and debate me? Let us make a challenge. If they yes, dare. that's what I was going to say. Yes. Yeah. Let us see if they dare to do it. And you were seeing they were never there. They will never. The only way they will come to debate me if you don't tell them Christian press. Don't tell them who I am. Tell them I want to. I will call this guy and you debate him live. If you tell them this is a Christian press, that will never happen. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, my friend. We are happy for you. And I ask all the Christians in the in the chat. We have more than a thousand people. They are listening. Please pray for this gentleman. I do not know your name, by the way, but you don't need My name is Muhammad. Muhammad. Uh, uh, yes. Guys, pray for our brother Muhammad. And this is the beautiful thing about Christianity. Even if your name is Muhammad, oh. still you are beloved by the Lord, the Messiah. And I hope soon you will see the truth and the truth will set you free. The Messiah, he said, I am the truth, which means there's no other truth except me. So I pray to the Lord that he will bring you to the truth and you will be free it will not be I a beg, slave of Allah I beg my Muslim brothers and sisters to stop swearing writing dirty messages chase the evidence chase your own book do not swear at anyone swear at the Imams who lie to you every day with a big smile on the face they lie to you and they smile I always notice that when when they have a big smile, they 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 lie something something very big. They lie about something very very big. 
All right, my friend. Because how can I how can I lie about God's God's words? How can I change God's words? If I if I know this is from God, I would I wouldn't dare to, to change it. But I believe these people don't even believe in God. If you believe in God, you would you wouldn't dare to touch His word. And what kind of how God, can you fabricate? What kind of God he can protect his book? How the Muslim they say that Allah is the one who sent the Injil and then the Injil is corrupt. I mean, this is this is an insult to their God. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's you you buy you buy BMW from BMW with three years warranty. They say if you touch, if you fabricate anything, your warranty will expire because we made this car. Nobody can, you know, find a mistake. Uh, so how about God's words? How could you fabricate God's words? How he you can't even them. fabricate your BMW. How we allow them. And you know, uh, once I ask a Muslim Sheikh, you, uh, you know, he says to me that the Bible is corrupt. So I ask him, uh, before I show him those verses, I said, okay, was it fabricated by Allah will or against his will? He said, I need to think about this and I will call you back. And since then, he never called me back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happen, happens to me when I, I ask too many questions, um, <laughs> to be honest. When they ask too many questions, they, they try to, you know, not to see me. They pretend to be busy. They call me back. They give me a call. They have appointments, this and that. But it's, it's just running away from the facts. But you see, as long as you notice that they are they are trying fooling around you know why you were not sure I mean why you were why you waited all this time uh, I mean you notice that there is something fishy yeah because 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 they am they uh, I wake up in the morning five o'clock in the morning I go to work they don't work they never work they make easy money that's why hmm. All right. That's why this is a good business for them. That's why All I right. believe that's why they lying about it. They want to keep the business. I'm happy for you, my friend, that you decide to leave Islam. Thank you very and, much uh, for everybody. You can call me anytime you wish, feel free, and I will be happy. Uh, I appreciate you. that. All right. Take Thank care, you, my friend. God bless. Take care. Have a good All right. That's wonderful. It was, uh, it's always like this. You see, when a Muslim, he call me, he's upset, he's angry. He must be, a, uh, either you are a big fat liar, is what he said. But am I? Everything I say, I show in the screen, live evidence. And no Muslim there really, especially, I'm not talking about uh, you know, most of Muslims are poor people. They will lie to those who he said, our friend here, I don't know, his name is Muhammad, so, right? He said Muhammad. Uh, 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 the, the one who claimed to be Imam, why they will not debate me? Because as he said, they are doing business. They will destroy their career. It's a big mistake. That's why always they try to debate somebody. He's an American. You know not too much about Islam because it doesn't matter really how much you try to learn about Islam as long as you don't speak Arabic still you are limited because as you see like even if you read all the books about Islam in English which is not translated in English the translation always they play with there's no translation you can trust there's no even even the Muslims don't accept the translations for the Quran because they knew that the translation is meant to lie so we can convert some Christians, some Hindus, some Buddhas, and some atheists. The translation is not meant to translate. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to stay longer. Maybe many of you would like to talk to me, but honestly, I'm really getting tired. I did not eat since yesterday. And um, I better stop here, otherwise this is endless. Uh, subscribe to our channel feel free to download all my videos and always if you don't find my video you can go and you can click at patreon always I update the link because people download my videos and we update the link which is in a patreon so or you can search the same title uh, in YouTube uh, sometimes people they change it just be sure you filter but like the last 24 hours so you will not go to an older video 
uh, and you can find always the video which we uh, have already so uh, the video it might take some time before you can download it maybe 20 30 minutes maximum and then you can download and feel free post my videos whatever you wish actually i encourage you to do that because the whole point of what we do is spreading the message this is not about christian prince you do not know who i am you have no idea who i am my real name is not a christian prince or what i confirm to you i am a christian and he made me a prince humbly we follow the messiah and he is the king of the kings and there's no better name better than his name they can say whatever they want they can try to fight him they can to fabricate lies about him but he is the truth even in the devil book even the devil he could not deny the messiah this is why muhammad he says that the messiah is the spirit of god he is the word of god and he is born from no father for he is the son of god and right now as we speak even according to the yellow pages of the quran he is in heaven listening to us the messiah he said every two of you mention my name i will be between you he is the alpha he is the omega and i pray that next time we hear from our friend muhammad we will hear from him that he accepted the messiah as his personal savior because christ is a personal lord he is not the owner of his slaves this is why when we pray we say our father in heaven and this is the huge difference between christianity our god is our father your god he is a slave owner we are children of god you are a slave of allah and we cannot compare between a child of a king the king of kings and a slave enjoy your slavery muslims thank you everybody for being here may the lord bless you all and until we see you again maybe tomorrow christ is lord and islam is false thank you very much take care